So there, we begun. A new game. Oh, uh, uh, option screen. I mean, I mean, uh, Mega, Nep, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Uh, I was hiding in the option screen because it's trying to play an intro. And you know my rule, we don't watch any intros until it, we beat the story because, especially for Japanese games, intros tend to have a lot of spoilers. That you might not re recognize their spoilers, but still. So it was trying to play an intro, so I was hiding here. We got Sam. Whoa! Honestly, the audio levels look a little low, but the they sound pretty good. Hmm. Uh, we always adjust this. Up, down, left, right, whatever. Movement speed. Camera controls. What? Text. Auto wait time fast. Text advanced mode normal. We'll go with fast. I've noticed for like the previous games in this series, uh, standard is a little too slow for my liking, so we'll do fast. West done alert. Scout to return alert. During events. Oh, during events? So that might just mean that they only show up after events are done. In uh, Rebirth 3, they sh they sh didn't have this setting. They just showed up uh, the... What was it called? Stealth Dungeon thing during... Uh, whatever. Event pop-up. Although it challenges are. We'll have to see. We'll find out. Um, uh, uh, what's that? Oh, sending value. Uh, I don't know what that means. But it's fine. Why and return. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> uh, 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 let's get the party started. We, we, let's begin a new adventure. This takes place after Rebirth 3 we did. Uh, last year. We did Rebirth 3 last summer, right? So it's time for the next game in the series. Hi, Mexican boy. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Going pretty well for me. We're about to start a new game. A new story. We're going to see what happens. Let's go! Let's go! Actually, we might need Neon Kitties for this. Oh, yeah. I did download all the free DLC. And there's a bunch of them. There's like 30 free DLCs in the store. Might need the young kitties. How long has it been since this world and I were swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion? Except it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself willingly into this maelstrom. But it's quiet. Down deeper. And with more violence than I could have ever imagined. Turn this part up. <laughs> what the hell's going on? How can I escape this boundless whirlpool of delusion? Please give me an answer. Anyone, please. Save me. Okay. Zero turn. Dimension Neptunia Z. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to adjust the uh settings for uh, uh movies. Oh, it's set twenty percent. It was kinda quiet. Try 50. Background music sounds much louder and it's at 30. It's like, what? About 40. Um, uh, 
Um, uh, apparently we're playing this game instead. This is news to me. Oh yeah, and subtitles? Were there no subtitles? Voice selection. There were no subtitles for that uh, cutscene. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe there's just no uh, subtitles there. It'd be in sound, wouldn't it? Hmm. I guess not. Let's go. Twilight of the Desperate CPU, huh? Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality. Where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. Ooh. Probably will need Dion Kitas. I forgot what kind of game I play. It's the ones where they have things in the corner. I just don't want block, right? New game! Let's go, right? Let's go! We should see how much of it's voice this time. I did a lot of voicing for first and second game. A little bit less for... But still quite a bit for third game. We will see. The nation where CPU Purple Heart rules... Planetone. Where CPU Blackheart rules, last station. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Louis. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. Real. Thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. Woo! That totally stays because um, we're starting a new game, right? It's peaceful the whole time. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. Ooh. It looks so sharp and uh, clean. I've only played the Vita game, so it's like, whoa! Everything's all, whoa! Although, I kind of feel like I just had a super creepy dream. <laughs> ah! What was that noise? If I didn't know any better, I'd say that sounded like something plastic slamming against the concrete. I should go take a look. And so, here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Looks pretty clear to me. It doesn't look very shrouded in darkness to me. I can see the sky and everything. But I'll take your word for it. Uh oh. Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the zero dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark. Even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. How would they just leave a Dreamcast sitting in an alleyway? How could they? 
I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take a... I mean, deposit this at the Basilicom for safekeeping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Nepgear! Look and look! I found a super cool vintage game console. Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Uh-oh. Ah, it's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoire, or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history, and right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... <laughs> Uh, 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 overruled. Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up. It's just a little old shift period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Famous last words. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Vlad has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs like a mature and appropriate sense of danger. Uh, Bob, uh, reasons. Hey, don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Istuar. Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul, aren't you, Noir? Oh, fighting words. Just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptune, you think you can fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune's safety yet again. Neptune, did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptunior. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. <gasps> Click! Oh! You're getting sucked up in another portal? Come on, that was totally a plot last game, right? Again. 
They gotta go through every portal they find, apparently. Zero dimension. Control! Probably. Zero Dimension Neptunia. Uh oh, uh oh. I have to change the game title now. Which is game title's totally wrong. Neptune? Neptune? Please, wake up! I've never heard this game of music before. Neptune, please! Ten more minutes. No! This isn't the time to be sleeping. Look! Look around! Ugh, you're so noisy. Wait, did Isti find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Oh, it. Huh? Oh, right, right, right. This is just a dream. Okay, well then, night, Nepgear. Turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Rah. Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune. Get up! No, 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 no. This can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Um, uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. I mean... Uh, put two two together. Hmm, are we in a game? We did get sucked up through another portal. Actually, th they went in a game in the last game. They put on like a headset thing to go inside a video game. So that shouldn't be too far fetched, right? Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. That's the spirit. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we get to press buttons. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Press buttons. Whoa. That shows the map. This touchpad do. Help. Let's get it done. Whoa. Menu looks a little different than previous games. Wow. No one's around. Hmm, that's pretty weird. You'd think there would at least be a cat, a hologram, or something. Hey! Anyone here? There's something really eerie about this place, Neptune. Those cracks running through the streets and buildings don't seem like regular cracks. You're right. They're all green and pretty. I feel like if I stared at them long enough, they'd suck me right in. There 
are similar cracks in the sky, too. It's almost as if the fabric of space and time itself has cracks in it. And these buildings, they feel familiar. Kind of like some of the ones we have back in Planetune. The, no, it couldn't be. Oh, this couldn't be Planetune in a different Z dimension, could it? Ooh, would Planetune look like this if we were to enter an apocalypse? Don't say things like that! That's bad! When I look more closely, I don't recognize any of these areas. So I don't think it's Planetune. Doi! Come on, little nap. That city's my backyard. I'd recognize it if I was walking around it blindfolded. Well, it does us no good to keep brooding here. Forward march! Where does her confidence come from at times like this, I wonder? My confidence, you ask? It's obviously because I'm the main character. Yeah, she's got that protagonist energy. She's like, I wouldn't kill off me or harm me or whatever. I'm the protagonist. No matter what happens, we'll make it through with my protag rule set. <laughs> yes, that's right. I hope so. <gasps> A monster! Um, <clears throat> that was just kind of loud, is all. <laughs> it's just a run-of-the-mill first battle baddie. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Nep Jr., my protag rule set has found local person number one. Oh, Neptune! No matter how you look, I don't think we can converse with it. It's full of murderous intent. Uh, I guess so, huh? to someone else besides us. But if the enemy is raring to go, we've no choice. Nepgear, let's transform and stop it. Right. Behold my power. I bet they won't be able to transform because they're not in the same dimension. Just kind of like Alaska. Processor unit. Uh oh. Um... Uh oh. <gasps> I can't transform. Huh? But nothing happened? <laughs> ah! Hey, that's dangerous. Oh, I see. You don't know it's against the rules to attack during a transformation sequence. What rules? I don't think a monster will understand, even if you tell them that. I don't know why we can't go HDD, but we have to take care of the enemy in front of us first. Let's go for it. Okay. Help topic battle combos has been added. Defend. Skills. Wow. Please set the following members to the front. Neptune and Nepgear. They're not already set to the front. The party menu may coordinate your battle party members. It consists of three submenus, coupling, lily rank, and formation. In the coupling menu, you can organize your party coupling and switch in or out or switch in or switch out characters of your party. During this process, the character's info will be displayed in the right of, on the right of the screen. Woo! In the Lily Rank menu, you can view a list of each character's Lily Rank between each other. When a character, or when a Lily Rank increases, characters may obtain an ability called a Lily Effect when coupled together. Ooh! In the Formation menu, you can set the starting battle position of party members. Select the squares you wish to switch in order to change the position. Wow! Coupling. It goes up to 10 like the last game, huh? Characters who are placed in this, on the same row will be in a coupling state. A lily rank icon will be displayed between them. A lily rank displays the level of intimacy between two characters. Ooh. As a battle member, by fighting together with a character on the front lines or battling while coupled, the lily rank will increase. 
characters can receive abilities called Lily Effects from who they've coupled with. However, to receive said Lily Effect, their Lily rank must be above a certain level. I mean, that's just like previous games, so... Other effects of coupling include receiving a param parameter assist effects called support requests. They will also be able to use, be able, be, they will also be able use coupling skills to use F12, F12. Nobody reads tutorials anyway, right? It's, it's fine. They're both on the front line right now. That formation should be fine. You guys even have equipment? Equipment! When acquiring new equipment, if you wish to use it, you will need to equip party members from the equipment screen. Select the equipment you want to change and press X to display the equipment list. Select the item you wish to equip and press X to equip it. That's right, that's right. You can also press triangle and square to view equipment info and status. Numbers will change in real time, so take advantage of that while selecting equipment. To compare! If you press L2, the strongest equipment will automatically be selected from the items available. Ooh, that's new. Ugh. Use it when you're not too sure what your best options are. Or when you're lazy, right? Just... Blah. Wait, wait. Why did that change your outfit there? Miss best equipment. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, because it gives, like, 10% dark resistance or something. Whoa. That gives, like, 10% intelligence. Um, I'm pretty sure... There's no intelligence for her, sorry. That's all she got. R2 check model. What? No different outfit for her. Who cares? I mean, everyone seems fine to me. Combo menu. What? The combo menu you can set the combo attacks to use during battle. Your first attack is determined by your weapon, which cannot be changed. With the subsequent attacks, you may freely set any combo skills you learn from leveling up. Choose the spot you wish to set the combo with the cursor. And bring up the combo list with X. Select a combo from the list to set. There are three types of combos. Power, Rush, and Standard. Wait, Standard? Was it called Standard in the previous game? No, it was called Break, wasn't it? Wasn't there Rush, Power, and Break? Power emphasizes attack strength, rush emphasizes hit count, and standard sits between the two. Hmm. Does this mean there's no guard breaks in this one? In this one? Combo traits are attributes that, if conditions are met, will always cause an attack to become a critical hit. Ooh, that's new. Combo traits change depending on the combo attack, so check it each time you set a combo. Hmm. The amount of combos you can set depends on the weapon you equip. The parts you cannot use in battle will be grayed out. You can set combos, but you cannot use them in battle. Hmm. How many points? You don't see how many points something takes anymore? Oh. Oh, you can't use the same move multiple times. You have to change it up with different moves. Ugh. Like. 
can't have three of the same attack. Or four of the same attack. That's interesting. I'm not sure what the empty thing next to their uh, character model is, but all right. I'm so I'm already starting at level five. I'm already ahead of the game. Let's start the tutorial battle. Everyone, use this fight to learn the basics. All right? Okay. It's a promise. All right. All right. Looks friendly seen this monster before it looks strong i'll have to focus never fear nepgear this is a tutorial battle so no matter how crazy they look we'll win are you sure about that you can't you can't say that you might be jinxing it there okay what should i do what's that Hmm. Here I go. My turn. Ouch. Ouch. What should I do? Congratulations, Nepgear. You, you did it. New records. Wow. Dropped life fragment. XP credits details. Uh interesting. Arch destruction bonus? <gasps> We're gonna get tail weapons. Ooh, easy peasy. We didn't even need HDD. Why couldn't we transform? Oh! What's up, Neptune? Neptune! It's our shares! I thought something was weird. I can't feel our shares at all. Yeah, right. I trounced a certain noir in a character ranking contest. That popularity is like the source of our shares. So, to be missing... <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm, she's like, wait, I don't feel it either. It's gone. What? Why? Shares are the faith people have in CPUs. It's impossible for them to be at zero. And for us to be unable to transform in a post-apocalyptic horror world like this, we're going to be sterilized. Please, calm down, Neptune! Also, that monster we just fought? Have you ever seen anything like it before? That super gross mutant bug thing? Nope. And I kind of wish I never had. What about you? It was my first time, too. Unfamiliar monsters in an unfamiliar land. Where the goodness are we? Can we actually get out of here alive? I've tried contacting Eastwar, but the end gear keeps dropping out of range, so I can't connect to the phone or the internet. It, it'll be just fine. You worry too much. Just leave everything to your big sis. Y you don't sound too c confident there. And let's be real here. Roaming around strange new lands, beating up monsters is way better than working at a boring desk. I think you only feel that way because you hate working. Yeah? Just, the only thing I hate is not having fun. Come on, let's make the most of this, little sis. Neptune.
tune? I don't know if I can have fun, but I'm sure we'll be fine if we're together. There we go. You look way cuter when you smile. Let's keep moving. Okay. Touch my Esther. Touch me. Touch me. Within dungeons, enemy symbols are wandering about. You will begin a battle when you touch these enemy symbols. Hey, it's those little, uh, little guys. We've seen those in previous games. I forget what they're called, though. You can attack with your weapon by pressing X. If you hit the enemy symbol with your weapon, the battle will begin with an advantage for your party in what's called a symbol attack. Yep, yep, yep. If you touch the enemy mid-swing or you are attacked from behind, the battle will begin with the enemy at an advantage in what's called a back attack. So be careful! <gasps> I won't be careful. I refuse to be careful. Being careful is against the rules. What is this, man? Your starting position, maybe? Ooh, you can't adjust the, uh, the direction of the, uh, weapon anymore. Have hidden items anymore? Oh, we can still jump. Might be kind of boing. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Hey, boing. Jump. Boing. Like a kangaroo. Hey, hey. It's our chance to attack together. Our chance to attack together. I don't know what the walking is. Distance? Hmm. You can't reach. Ow! Dot internal. Oh, that sounds very useful. Oh, she didn't get full XP from the level up. Interesting. What's going on with the map? There's treasure chests. Ah, there's challenges like in the last game, huh? Is it up there? Well, the boxes look interesting. Suspicious boxes. Invisible wall. Suspicious. Ooh, check this out. I wonder what happened here. Hey, Nip Jr., let's try climbing to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune! This can't be... What, what 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 is this more destruction no way just where is this hmm aha uh -huh. look over there i see somebody hmm? oh wow you're right I think it's a girl. Oh no! She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters! There's no way a local could fight against that many. Let's go, Nepgear. Yeah, let's go help her! How do you know that? You, you don't know what the locals are like in this place? They could all be badasses.
much cow hair. Wait, where am I doing? Boing. Whee. Boing. Boing. Like a kangaroo. I'm, uh, I'm not going back once I jump down here. What's this? Or Treasure! There are blue cubes now, huh? Healing grass. Seven healing grass. I presume that's for munching on. Wait, what? Can I not go back? Bop. You missed. Oh, did I go back around? Oh, that's the item I was, couldn't get before. I wonder about that one, though. You should totally be able to get it, but there's an invisible wall. Maybe you need a skill to destroy the boxes to get those? Oh. Uh, what's up, guys? Go. Oh, now we're back here. Ugh. Boing. Like a kangaroo. Hey, yay! Successful surprise attack. You guys. Combo attack has been acquired. Rapid rush. I think I'm a little closer to Neptune now. I think so. Oh, right. it's starting to get a little painful. Ugh. Starting to get painful. Our previous attacks did not use combo trait. Ugh. Can't do them for whatever reason because they're grayed out, but still. you can't adjust the square angle like you could in the previous games. Well, I think these guys are too far apart anyway. these boxes. Get some skill to destroy them at some point, I guess. Save point somewhere. No save point located yet. How's this? I haven't seen this before.
Bruce too. Rip. You have heels. That was an AoE. No, oh, it's not. It's just a singular. Well, that would be cool. Can I get both? Probably not. I bet you can't adjust the square. I could like turn the square. Try to get both. I don't think I can do that. Kills McQuarrie, do your best. Combo attacks McQuarrie, double Zonba. Yay, I leveled up. It's got rapid hit. I'd be happy if you healed me soon. Can I do that? Well, I can heal from the menu. I wonder how you restore SP. We'll have to find out. Charger Marathon Runner. I'm still a novice, but I'll try my hardest. Well, challenges. The challenges system is where each character can fulfill certain conditions and receive parameter bonuses. You can check the details of challenges, the bonuses you receive, and more in challenges under the library menu. A character will receive bonuses to their parameters by clearing a challenge, but it is not mandatory to finish any of them to complete the game. For real. You can look at the challenges as a way to see how far you can push the limits of your favorite character. Oh. Exploring dungeons, huh? Oh. Can't destroy destructible objects yet. Interesting. What? I didn't get it, huh? Hell is that? Wait, why can't I reach that? Hmm? Uh, wait, what? Uh, wait, huh? The further down? Wait, what? 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 Oh, I have to jump over the thing. Okay, life fragment. We know what those are. You guys look tall. We'll find out.
Let me do it. Goodbye, Robux. Is that a save? Oh, found their save points. Woohoo! Yeah! Who the heck is this? Think so we're a monster? Do we look like a robot? Do I look like a robot? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, lady. I'm just trying to. <laughs> You're not half bad. The name's Uzume Tenoboshi. What's yours? N Neptune. It's Neptune. Nep. Your name's freaking hard to pronounce. Neptune's easier to pronounce than Uzume Tenoboshi. Sorry. Yours is all. Your first name's even three syllables. Neptune's two. Neptune wins, clearly. I get that a lot. <laughs> hmm. You're a lot stronger than you look. You're like the perfect prelude to it. Dang it! Just listen to me. We're already super tired from getting sucked into that crazy vortex, and I'm just trying to get back! Sorry, but I'm not the type to get all cozy with the enemy. If you think you can fool me by pretending to be human, you've got another thing coming. We're not enemies! Just listen to me! Seriously, like, I know I'm number one on Game Industry's Hot 100 chart for nicest people ever, but I'm about to get super pissed off. Heh. <laughs> Game it? Ugh, what the hell are you even talking about? Eat this! Chest Buster! What? Yes? Like my sister said, we have no intentions of fighting with you. In fact, I'd be really happy if you could help us. So, um, can you just listen to us for a minute? We aren't going to attack you, I promise. Yeah, what's your problem? Just 
help us. Jeez. Hmm. Neptune, this is your fault too. Why are you picking fights with strangers? Uh, <laughs> my bad. I was getting a little too hyped. <laughs> hey, uh, we're still over here. Pay attention to us, please. There are still a few stragglers. All right, whoever you girls are, this is gonna have to wait until I clean this up. Yeah, let's mop this spit up. I wanted us to stop fighting. It's too late for that. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, Uzume Tonoboshi has joined. Uh, what? What a shocker! Let's like to follow the members to the front. Well, they're either to the front, aren't they? Yup, well. You whack people with a megaphone? I'm sorry, the best stuff. You gonna bop you with the megaphone, okay? Second, third. Oh, does this mean? <clears throat> Wait, that's oh, still grayed out. Third. Wait. Hmm. Okay. And you're all already dead. But they're robots. How are they ugly sacks of flesh? Aren't they robots? Aren't they, they hunks of metal or something? You blind. What should I do? Warning. It's my turn. I don't think she can get both. Oh, she got a different radius. She looks super cool now, totally. time I've seen people, let alone fight alongside them. It was wrong of me to attack you the way I did. Please, forgive me. It's okay. I'm just so glad you believe us. Oh, it's all good, Uzume. I know how it goes. I'm just relieved to know there are other people roaming around these parts. Well, I'm actually the only other person here. That aside, if you're not its underlings, who the hell are you girls? You seem pretty strong, but... Hmm, we're... how do you say... lost? We suddenly found ourselves in this city. We were looking around to see if there was anyone else, and we finally found you. 
Lost? You mean there are others who failed to escape and are surviving in other cities? Failed to escape? From what? Surviving? Hey! I thought we cleared the dungeon! What the heck is it now? Hmm. Finally, it's arrived. Uh-oh. What is that huge thing? Is the last boss already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? Hmm. I don't know who or what that thing is either, but it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right. And it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. All righty. Now I'm getting all fired up, too. Yep, we're doomed. Opponents bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect! In fact, bring it on! Neptune! Neptune, you're, I'm the pro tag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. I do what I want, and I want to help. Please be reasonable, you two! If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic! Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh yeah, I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough. But a pack of monsters, too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready to rumble! You girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna. Run away! No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Mm -hmm. Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune. Uh... Okay, you're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh, what freaking ever! You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. Yep, yeah! Then, at the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? From the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there. Fetch my SD! Support request. <gasps> Battle members can receive assist effects called support requests from their coupled partner. Uh, this is irrelevant when you only have three party members and you don't have enough people to have people in the back. Come on now. 
Come on now. Support requests add 10% of the couple partner's parameters to their own. Oh, really? This effect will manifest during battle. That's cool. There are two types of support requests. Offensive and defensive. With offense, STR and... In wait, strength and intelligence are added. And with defense, vitality and mentality, I guess. Mental? Mental? Are added. You can freely set support requests to offensive or defensive by pressing L1 in the coupling menu screen. The arrow pointing to the front character of two coupled characters is the character set to receive the support request. Use the arrow to confirm what type of support is set. Wow! You can use it to boost a character's strengths or cover their weaknesses. Do it however you see fit in your party. Wow! That is a new thing. But I still think it's irrelevant when you have so few characters. So... World. Wow! The world! Dungeon point, town point, normal point. Hmm? Huh? This overworld looks a little bit different. On the world map, you will move across points connected by routes. Select your destination point with the cursor, then press X to move. You can move to any point that is connected to your current point by routes. There is a possibility that battles will occur on points on the way to your destination. Huh. You can also display a list of dungeon and town points with the D-pad. Use this if you want to choose a point from a list. Wow! You place your cursor on a town or dungeon point, the information about the specified location will be displayed. Wow! When your character reaches a town point, your party's HP and SP will also recover when simply passing through town points. Wow! It's a different overworld menu. Possibly because, you know, you're not in the same world. You're in the Z dimension now. It changed things up. Coupling skills are special skills that activate when coupled characters work together. <gasps> Spoilers, I'll get IF and comp at some point. You will have to set character coupling in the menu before the battle. But they are easier to use than formation skills. Beware that coupling skills will use the EXE drive gauge as opposed to using SP. Wait, what? Use the EXE drive gauge back? I know they changed the gauge for... First and second game, it changed in the third game, but... Didn't it use SP in the third game? Wow! Didn't treasure that? Wow! Wow! I can get you. Do, 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 do. Super cool. Can't we just hang out here? Hope you'll be enough to entertain me. I've been waiting. You can't get both. That's sad. you do something? Take no damage. Man, I can't reach that. Yeah. What happened there? But uh, can't we just hang out here? 
Uh, we have reached the end of voice dialogue, I would say. I was wondering. I was, I was impressed with how much voice dialogue there was at this point. But it has reached its end. Mmm, what do I do for her? She's a new character. Mmm. Mmm. She's got kind of the tough tomboy voice, doesn't she? Here we are. This is my base. Although, I guess it's more of an abandoned building than a base. But it's better than being out in the open. Ooh, using a dingy old building like this as your secret base is so freaking cool. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and you have everything you need here. A safe place to sleep, food, recovery items, and even a communication terminal. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's just like a rebel hideout from an anime. That's right, that's right. What? You guys actually understand how wicked cool this base is? Not right. Duh! Yes, of course. Okay, I see now. If you two get how cool this place is, then you can't be all that bad. Okay. Compliment my hideout, and suddenly you're a cool person. You're like, you're like, we're cool. Super cool. Grow for cool. You're in the cool club now. Alright, alright. Now, we don't have much time, so I'll give you a quick rundown of our enemy. Like I said before, that giant thing's the main culprit behind all the destruction you've seen. But its size isn't the only thing you should be worried about. That monster also holds the power to erase life forms out of their existence. That sounds kind of OP. It's the reason why all the humans who lived in this nation are no longer here with us. What? They're all just... gone? I... I see. That's why our share energy was... I mean, uh, I don't think that's why the share energy was gone. I think the share energy is gone because the people of this nation aren't your people. So even if their people were here, they still wouldn't have any shares because they don't believe in them. They believe in Uzabe, right? If all the people are gone, she wouldn't have any energy either, right? She's still tough, though. I don't want to believe it. How does that even make sense? Did they all really disappear because of that big giant thing? It's hard to say. I don't know much about everything that's happened to myself. After the humans left, that's so weird to say. Tons of intel- or not tons, lots of intelligent creatures moved into the area. They're very kind, and some are even able to talk. So, our objective in this current mission is to buy enough time for all of them to safely evacuate the city. Ooh, so those are the others you were talking about before? I have a question, though. Aren't any of the monsters fit to be your allies? Unfortunately, we're the only ones who can fight. Yikes. It's amazing you've been able to fight all by yourself all this time. Yeah, I'm amazed I'm still kicking. We're always being chased by that thing. It feels like all we know how to do anymore is run for our lives. I'm terrified when I wake to the sounds of its footsteps shaking the ground. What's worse is to... Uh, wait, what's worse is that we're running out of places to escape to. Uzume... Do you think there's any way to defeat this giant for good and lay all of this to rest? That's right! We can just destroy it! You won't have to keep running anymore! This would all go away if we just do that, right? Hey, come on. Don't you think I've tried? I've scuffled with that thing so many times, and it has never even come close to injuring it. And it have never even come close to injuring it. Oh, um, how have you managed to scuffle with it and not die? I think you, you just get stepped on and, or punched and you'll be paced. She's tough, man. She's tough. No way. Don't make that face. Even if it's impossible now, I've been coming up with a plan to defeat it. It's just not ready yet. All right, so we don't have a lot of time before...
Yeah, it's me. What's the status on the evacuation? Uzume. I'm relieved to hear your voice. We're roughly 70% complete with evacuation. Still a lot left, huh? I apologize. We are moving as fast as we can. Don't sweat it. Just make sure everyone gets out of there safely. Understood. Careful out there, Uzume. Hey, who's that? He sounds handsome. Is he a friend? Yeah, he is. We caught him on a good day, though. He can get a little cranky sometimes. We'd better get going soon, though. Make sure you don't leave anything behind. We won't be coming back here. Help topic switch has been added. Oh, which? Again, there's no point in switching because I don't have enough characters to have someone in the back to switch to. Pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. No pudding. Where's my pudding? Where's my pudding? Hell's development. Because of our situation, we have a place to develop items set up too. We gotta make use of our surroundings. How oh, eco-friendly! Teach me, Esther! Development. In development, by combining certain items together, you can create a different item. Huh. So it's kind of like item creation? In order to develop new items, you will need the key items called plans, which may be bought in shops or obtained in dungeons. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's item creation. They just gave it a different name. When you obtain a plan, the item you can develop will be displayed on the development list. The items and amounts needed for development will be listed on the right side of the screen. Whoa! Developed items will have a check mark on the development list. Items that display a card icon will be sold within shops once they are developed. Whoa! No development items available. Can't do it yet. This place might be, be a shambles, but it's here, so we can at least buy items. It's only got the bare minimum of items lined up, though. I'm surprised in the apocalyptic universe that money and currency and shops are still a thing, but okay. Ooh, all the story items that any respectable game should have are here. Yeah. Teach me, Isti. But Isti's not here to teach me, what the heck? Within the town's shop menu, you can buy and sell items. Buy allows you to purchase items in the shop. And sell allows you to exchange already owned items for credits. In try and buy, what the heck's that? You can buy equipment while checking its appearance. Oh, so it's that thing they introduced in the last game. Oh. And observing status changes, you can equip them on each character and then purchase. They will automatically be equipped along with your purchase. There are town-specific items sold in shops. What? That's new. What? What do you mean there's town-specific items? How dare they? The word limited will be displayed next to these items. What? If you use the town's development or investment, the items available to purchase in the shop will increase. Ooh. You can invest in towns now? Not yet, I don't think. We have 2,800? That seems pretty generous. 22 of them are. Status effects. What the hell's Shadow Hold? That's a new one. I don't know what apathy is either. Looking through this allows you to see other people's heart rate, temperature, and stuff. What stuff might that be? It probably lets you see, like, enemy HP and stuff. But stuff, all right. Let's escape battles, right? No, wait. Warp out of a dungeon. Oh, okay. Wow! Hmm. Oh, uh, the bottom has 40 vitality. The 
and that's how much of an increase it'd be to what you currently got. Plus 10? How much money do I have? Buy fries. Which corner shows my money? Oh wait, current credit is 26. 2600. Might not be worth it at this point. Too broke. Wouldn't be able to buy it forever, but... Oh, items we've got. Materials. Couldn't, uh... It looks exactly the same. Inverse. Wait, what? Oh, chirpers. Chirpers is converse now, huh? I'll give you a hint about the game. What? My name is Miss Manuel. I'll give you some advice on the game. You can always check help topics you've seen by selecting help from the menu. No way. Okay, so it doesn't disappear after you select the chirper, huh? Dengue Kiko. What in the world is this world? And what will happen to Neptune and the others? As a game industry reporter, I have to see this to the end. And if I make it into an article, I'll beat the other reporter. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, me too. I've never seen this place before. But where is this? But making this into an article is my job as a game industry reporter. I'll chase after Neptune and write an article. Right, 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 right. Okay. Interesting that you can reselect. Press Oh, okay. I'm full of energy. Yep, you can save in the overworld. I expected that. You could in all the previous games. Yes, yeah, so you have to do the save points in dungeons, though. Whoa! Something's going to happen here, huh? Oh, what? You all up? Yes. I'll be serious. Yes. Right. My turn. I don't think, uh, we can reach. Just a scratch. Yeah. All right, defeated. I finished this stylishly. Super stylishly. La, 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 la. Combo tax matter, mega D drive. Magna Slash. This what? Even Which one is it? Power. Your sack was power. I see why they were grayed out again. Said something about some of them being grayed out. Oh, right here, remember? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it depends on the weapon. Oh, you have to get cool weapons to use all your combo. That's a little bit different than previous games. Previous games you got like uh, points every time you leveled up. And then you allocated those points. Interesting. What's the game plan, Uzume? So, basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy? New nickname unlocked! Nepsy? Nepty. Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. Neptune's really hard after all, okay? But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname. So I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearsy. What? Gearsy? Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearsy. Gearsy. Gearsy, huh? <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Hmm. Okay, she approves. If she approves, I approve. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. Uh-uh. Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. Check out the guns on this guy. The heck are you, Serpentis? One try. Leave it to me. Oh, Take me down. Now, who to choose? What? Brave your burden. <laughs> now, who to choose? What should I do? It's my turn. Let's try. Take you. No, my turn. You're so damn lame. How dare you? He talks. How dare you? Well, hey, I'm the protagonist. Of course I win. What? Phew. I think we've taken care of all the monsters in the area. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. <sighs> a lot larger than the ones we just fought. <laughs> you bastard. Of course you would be here. What? Uzume, are you acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. Hey, you mutt! This ends today! Right here, right now! What's that crystal? That's a share crystal? Today, this is going to end differently, because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant! Share crystal! Transform! Whoa. Whoa. He looks totally different. Interesting. It is learned try burst. Nepgear. Everybody. Formation skill! Wait, what? Formation skills are special skills that are activated with multiple characters cooperating. You can use them with two to four people, and the EXE drive gauge is used when activated. Whoa! In order to use a formation skill, you will have to arrange participating characters in a way that pinches, pinches the enemy or surrounds them. Okay, that's totally new. 
Usually, uh, formation skills where, uh, everybody has to be in the same state, like, everybody has to be human or HDD4. Not arranged a certain way. Interesting. So a line, a triangle, or a square, huh? Or diamond, I guess. By pinching or surrounding the enemy, you can create a line between characters. In a position... Wait, what? Various conditions need to be met in order to use formation skills. When these conditions are met, you can select formation skills from within the skill command. Wait, to push that surround or sandwiches the enemy, participating characters are all transformed or not transformed. Oh, it still has that. Ixie drive gauge fill does not have status effect. Apathy. Uh. Honestly, I didn't use formation skills very much because of the whole needing to be transformed or not transformed. And using different characters. <laughs> Why would I change their position? Isn't there a reason to change their positions? You went from, I'm a tomboy, to, I'm so cute! Right, okay. What should I do? Totally different. Mega Slaymon. What is this? Let's do. Hmm. <laughs> it's the same move, move attack as always. I have the drive gauge available right now. Interesting. You get it like really early in the game. Give it your all. Nice that changes. How dare I do something in the menu? Tutorial. During battle, you may gain effects that increase or decrease your status. There are various plus and minus effects related to the five kinds of statuses. Uh, physical attack defense, elemental attack defense, and turn speed. I think turn speed's a new one. The five statuses are the following. Physical attack, physical defense, elemental attack, elemental defense, and turn speed. When it's a plus effect, a blue, a, an icon and a blue arrow will be displayed. Uh. When it's a minus effect, an icon and a red arrow will be displayed. <laughs> You can get multiple effects at once, and duplicate effects can stack pluses or offset minuses. Oh, really? You can stack? Or could you, like, use a uh, physical attack up, like, three times and have triple? I don't think we have an EXE drive thing yet. Oh, wait, what? Combo ready? Ugh. Ugh. Legend created by concentrating three people's power on one point. All must be in the same transformation state to activate. It's true. She's in HDD form and the others are not. I didn't mean to defend. What? Accidental.
Yikes. I can't reach it. I guess I'll just heal myself then. Get wrecked. So tired. Uzume's a mess. Oh no, Uzumai. Poor Uzumai. One of my dreams came true. Level up. Giant breaking waves combo. Oh, I finally won against Doggy. It's Doggy. But it's totally because of you guys that I defeated it. Thanks so much. Aw, oh, shucks. No need to thank us. We're friends now. I'd go to bat for you any day of the week. He's right. We're friends now. Um, so, what's your name, CPU Uzume? It's Orange Heart. That's so cool. I was really surprised by your transformation, Uzume. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HDD form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs too. What? Like for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dugus in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. Uh, I have doubts about that final claim. Except, I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Kiersey? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Ugh, ran out of time! Time. Oh, right. It looked like you were using a share crystal to transform. Uh oh. What the goodness? It's still alive? Damn it. You're a resilient bastard, aren't you? Do you want another beating, you idiot? Shoot. Any more of this is gonna be tough, even for me. But if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end. It ran away? It's smart. Ha! It's running away because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, ha! Keep on walking, tough guy. Yeah, that's definitely why. 100%. Neptune? I think it's just leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant. W wait just a second, Uzume. How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to... We'll keep going till the very end. You know that's not what I mean. All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. Incoming! Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, uh oh The big lady's here! Surprise attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Are you okay, Uzume? Did 
Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh crap, did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? Have they all been evacuated? Butume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh good, we just made it. Yes, they're safe now. Thanks to you, Utume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think it's time we escape as well? Well, what was she just saying? Fight till the very end, right? Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? Ah! Watch out! Huh? Phew! Just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. What? Skin hairs? What? Neptune! Uzume! Are you both alright? Well... We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsy. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? Of course I do. It's too risky. Let's get out of here while we still can! Shut the hell up! <laughs> I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you wanna leave, then just go. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No, I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. Ooh, it's so edgy. Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die! Even if I have to go down with it, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Ouch! What the hell are you doing? You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. Um, hope. R rope? to say hope yeah that's the word hope all the good little monsters were able to escape isn't that good enough for now you don't need to push yourself pal anyway that's how it's gonna be nefgear give me a hand here okay whoa hey let me go you jerks you can't just pick me up like this put me down now got a good grip on her neptune Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! Rip. <sighs> Phew. I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed either. You idiots getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people, and how could. Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kind of needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know? Yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so thank you. <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use. Let's go! I choose you! I'll nip you all up! What should I do? Such a pain. That's an attack? 
That's an attack. What? E performance, new unique ability. Hmm. I think I'm a little closer to Neptune now. Combo attack. E performance again. I'd be happy if you healed me soon. Please heal me. No, I refuse. Previous attack did not use a combo trait. Uh. Well, you gotta have that first. What's the other thing? What's that T thing? I don't think it was Triburst. in couple <laughs> decreases SP consumption after transformation Ugh. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. We didn't pay for the voice actresses to do town cutscenes. Sorry. It's out of our budget. Oh, what's happening with that giant thing? Is it gonna make its way over here at some point? Am I gonna need to show it my final form? Your what? Don't worry. Looks like it's after... Look at... Uh, wait. Looks like after its little rampage, it disappeared again. That's usually what it does. Oh, so we made it out safely. Well, yeah, but that area it destroyed is no good to us anymore. I'm a little worried. We're running out of places to go to. But I am glad everyone got out okay. Plus, we were able to seriously injure that mutt. Even the small victories are pretty sweet. You girls are pretty worn out too, right? I've got some food if you're hungry and blankets if it gets cold. Make yourselves at home. Uh. Blankets! Pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding. No things. No new things. Doesn't look like it. How to converse. Ugh. Those are three of the ones from earlier. Now that I think about it, this city... Hey, Neptune? What do you think this city's called? 
Beats me, but why are you asking? I thought I'd keep a record of our experience and document any irregularities we encounter. I'm very curious as to why these buildings look so much like Planeptunes. It's odd, isn't it? Ah, let's ask Uzume. She'd know for sure. Hmm, the name of this city. Sorry, I don't know it either. Uh. Ah, you don't know? You're the CPU! Well, yeah, I'm the CPU, but to be honest, all of my memories are gone. The amnesia plot has returned. What? I woke to the side of the city in shambles, and that's the earliest thing I can recall. It's lame that I don't even know what its name is. The only thing I'm sure of is that I am the CPU of this nation, and that giant is responsible for its destruction. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. It's alright, really. Nothing for you two to worry about, Gearsy. Having no memories isn't hurting me in any way. It is what it is. Sorry I can't really help. <gasps> what? What? Oh, where are we exactly? Blah, blah, blah. Probably doing the backwards. So, I've been meaning to ask you, but where did you and Gearsy come from, Nepsy? We live in Planeptune. Ever heard of it? Planeptune? Wait, why can you pronounce Planeptune, but you can't pronounce Neptune? If you can pronounce Planeptune, you can do her name. Come on, though. <clears throat> What's wrong, Uzume? The memory's trying to come back. Uh, oh, nothing really. I think it's just fatigue finally catching up to me. So, Plan Neptune, was it? Sorry, but I don't think I know it. I see. Only, there is the possibility that it's a nation from across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yeah, I've never been. I'm not sure what's over there. And does that mean that we've crossed an ocean and ended up on another continent without even knowing it? Is that possible? I can't say I'm very convinced. But it would explain why the end gear has no reception and why we can't transform. Do you two remember how you even got here? It didn't seem like you flew or anything. We're actually not sure of that ourselves. Oh, come on. Portal. I pressed the power button of a game console I was trying to fix. Then a giant vortex appeared, sucked us in, and we ended up in the city. A vortex, huh? No matter how you look at it, a faraway continent or not, that must be what warped you guys here. Oh, hey, it's been bothering me for a while, but why can't we feel any shares here? Well, there aren't any people. Anywhere. What? There may be some humans in places I have no knowledge of, but I've never seen them. Oh, that's why we couldn't feel any share power at all. And that's why you use a share crystal to transform. But where did you find something as rare as a share crystal? Oh, it was just lying around here somewhere. Okay. What? You just find share crystals on the ground? Is that normal here? Definitely. Th that's impossible! Share crystals are the condensed crystallizations of invisible share energy. How can they just be found on the ground? That's right, but... Is something wrong? In order to manufacture a share crystal, you need a huge amount of shares, and a special formula in order to crystallize it. Before this, when fighting an enemy called the Deity of Sin, the oracles of our nations created share crystals, but barely managed to make four. For those to just be lying out in the open... Huh. So that's how share crystals are made. 
be honest, even I don't know why share crystals are lying on the ground. Oh, for you, they're like slightly rare items that can give you a temporary boost in chairs. Yeah, something like that. That's why I always carry them with me, so I won't run out. Look. Amazing. This might be the first time I've seen such a large pile of share crystals. It's embarrassing, but I can't go HDD unless I have these things. Though my allies are always on the lookout for more. Oh man, you're really living life on the edge. Can't be helped. Besides, it's good to have something to rely on. Well, you can rest assured from now on. Even if I can't transform, the goddess of victory is on my side. What? I've got high hopes for you guys. All right then, if that's the case, then let's celebrate by having a delicious juice party. Wait, we have juice? Napgear, lend me your strength. You got it. I think those two turned out to be CPUs. But that headache just now. Planeptune, even though it's my first time hearing it, why does it make me feel so... Uneasy. What does it mean? Whew, the giant left, so we can breathe a little. Hey, Izume, I have a question about that thing. Hmm? You mean about the giant? Yeah, that. We keep calling it stuff like the giant or that thing, but does it have an actual name? A name, huh? I've never really thought about it. I wonder if it has a name at all. I mean, it showed a name for a bit in like the dialogue back there. It was like purple something. Purple giant or something, maybe? I, I guess that's not technically a name name, though. You don't know anything about its real identity either, right? Like where it came from or what its purpose is here? I don't know anything about that. It's not like I can just talk to it. All I know is that it's on a warpath whenever it appears. When it destroys cities, it erases them from existence. They just vanish. I keep saying it, but we're really running out of places to hide. What? Those cities just... They just vanish? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. They're not rubble, they're just gone. That's not all. I haven't seen them myself, but there are also three other giants as well. They've destroyed the other three nations. There are four of those things? Oh geez, we picked a really bad time to visit this place. We have, huh? Oh, Nepsi and Gearsy are sisters, huh? Yes. Nepgear! I don't see any pudding anywhere! Oh no. Well, it would need to be refrigerated anyway, so you're probably out of luck. Oh, pudding! If I find the ingredients... Oh, wait. If I find the ingredients, I'll make some for you later. So just be patient for now, okay? Yippee! I love you the mostest, Nep Jr. Oh, the what? The mostest new word invented. He Neptune. It, it's embarrassing for you to hug me in a place like this. Hey, I've been wondering for a while now, but you're the older sister, right, Nepsy? That's absolutely correct. I am, in fact, the elder of the two of us. How do you like that? Wow. Seriously? I thought it was the other way around. We get that a lot. Since I'm a bit taller and Neptune's personality is, well, you know. People like to tell us we were born in the wrong order. <laughs> I know she's a little peculiar at times, but when it comes down to it, Neptune's incredibly dependable and just plain cool. Huh, there certainly are some interesting pairs of siblings in the world. Okay, so I think I get that we landed on a continent across the ocean. 
But how are we going to get back over there? I mean, in the last game, you literally got sucked into a portal to a different dimension. I don't think it's a stretch to think that you're in another different dimension and not just another continent. But, you know, psh, what do I know? Well, I think we'll have to find a boat, since we can't really fly without transforming. So, that means our first quest is to find a boat. Just like that one famous RPG. I'm super pumped. Mm, I wonder which one. I probably haven't played it. Oh, the reference goes whoosh over my head. You know, I'm sure Istoir is really worried about us, since we just disappeared without a trace. We need to hurry and find a way home. Napgear, do you think it's okay for us to just... leave? What do you mean? I mean, Uzume. She's been fighting alone for who knows how many years, without any idea of who or where she is. Even if we're able to find a way home, shouldn't we help her out first? There's no need for that, Nepsi. Oh, Usume! What do you mean by that? If you have a home to get back to, you should hurry up and get back there. But... Usume... In all honesty, it was surreal running into you girls. I never thought I'd meet other people in this dump, let alone a pair of sister CPUs. When you both willingly stood alongside me in battle, it made me so freakishly... Or no, wait, freakishly. Freaking, freaking. It made me so freaking happy to be alive. It was something I'd never felt before. But when all is said and done, this battle is between me and that giant idiot. There's no need for you to risk your lives here. So if you have other people, or if you have people waiting on you, you should leave. I am the CPU here. This nation is my responsibility and mine alone. Musume! Now that we know all that, we can't possibly leave you here all by yourself. You fight that thing on your own for so long. It's too horrible. Oh, come on. It's not horrible at all. That's just everyday life for me. Um, Uzume, when you say the responsibility is yours alone, have there really been no other CPUs to come and help you in the past? That's right. I've always been the only CPU here. Uh. And there's no one else to help you fight? Even if they're not CPUs? It's a shame, but there's no one else that looks like they could fight. It's up to me. That's all the more reason for us to help. Two heads are better than one, but three are better than two. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't argue with that logic, okay? You can't argue with that. That's pretty accurate. Three greater than two. That's right. I mean, I get that you know how to fight, but I couldn't possibly do something so uncool like involving unrelated people in this fight. We're not unrelated. We're friends. You can't just ignore a friend who's in trouble. It wouldn't feel right to just leave. Friends, huh? It's not like I think of you guys as, like, actual f f friends or anything like that. Uh-oh, she's a sundry. Got some noir in there. <laughs> One fresh serving of sundry coming right up. Uh, up to knows what's up. Oh, I know. I have a proposal for you, Uzume. Will you listen to me for a second? Proposal? Why don't you let Neptune and I help you out until we go back home? But uh, until you go home? I'm trying to tell you that it's too dangerous, so you should head home immediately. About that. Don't you think it'd be dangerous for us to explore a strange land with, we're unfamiliar with? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's using some logic here. We have no idea where our boat might be. And we don't know when that giant's going to show up again. Also, if we were to be targeted, I don't think Neptune and I could handle it alone. What are you getting at? 
It must be some sort of fate that we've met. So why don't we work together? I get it. I'll help you guys look for a way home. And in the meantime, you'll help me fight. Ooh, as expected from my kid sister. A great two birds with one stone idea. Well, what the hell. Not like you're gonna listen to me anyway. Let's do as Gearsy says and work together. Kusume! But if we find a way to get you guys home, I'm sending you guys back as soon as I can. And I won't have any complaints about it. <laughs> Understood. Hmm, there's nothing here either. What's wrong, Neptune? You've been searching through a bunch of rooms for a while now. I got kind of dirty from the battle before, so I wanted to take a bath or a shower. But I can't find one anywhere. Now that you mention it, I should do that too. I might smell... not great. That last battle really made me work up a sweat. I stink it out. I stink it. Oh no, how terrible. I mean... I don't think anyone's gonna care. It's like post-apocalyptic setting. I don't think anyone really cares about that anymore. It'd be one of the things that kind of go out the window, wouldn't it? <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> I don't think you smell, Gearsy. What are you doing? Oh, well, you said you might smell bad, so I sniffed you to check if you did, but... Don't worry. You smell like a good shampoo. There isn't even a hint of stinkiness. Really? Yeah, I may run and hide, but I never tell a lie. That's me in a nutshell. Thank goodness. Uzume is building up to nip... Gears flag. Wait, what? I never expected her to be wooed by the same gender. <laughs> your big sister's starting to get anxious about your future, Neptune. N Neptune, don't say weird things. But your cheeks were getting red, and you were even looking at her with upturned eyes. I can't help but feel suspicious. That was because I was embarrassed and not. <laughs> you two are always so funny. Goodness, this is partly your fault too. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Forgive me. By the way, what you doing here, Uzume? Did you need something from us? You're looking for a place to bathe, right? We don't have a bath, but I thought I'd tell you about our replacement for showering. You have a shower? Follow me. I'll show you. Woohoo! The water feels so good! What? 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 What are we about to see? Huh? What are we about to see? <laughs> Thank goodness for those droplets of water. Right? Isn't it even better after you're, you've exercised? I thought those experienced for a second. I was like, what? Yep, cold water feels the best against a warm up, warmed up body. Yeah, that's true. Wow, what an awesome idea to open a hole in the rooftop water tank and use it as a shower. Hole in the rooftop water tank. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's like the wisdom of everyday life or the wisdom of survival instincts. I've been living here for a long while, so this kind of knowledge naturally sinks in. Since you're here, you should take a shower with me, Uzume. It's nice and cool. Err, uh, I'll pass. Wait, wait, what, what, wait, you don't like water? You, you, you don't, you, you don't want to be undressed? Oh, she's shy. She embarrassed. I guess it's fine. Aw, why not? Are you too embarrassed to take it all off outside? She's calling out. 
Well, no, I'm used to that, so I've got no reservations towards it, but... Um, well... You know, um... You see... I got it! You're embarrassed to get naked in front of other people! You idiot! That that's not it at all. Uh, that sounds like the opposite right there. It's a sundry answer. Looks like you're right on the mark, big sis. It, it's not on the mark. Yes, it is. It, it's not like it's not at all like I'm embarrassed to be naked in front of others because I've been alone all this time or anything. Wow, she spilled that all out all by herself. Oh, I know. I'd love to see your super cool birthday suit, Usume. Uh, I'd like to see you throw your clothes off all dramatically and take a shower with an awesome splash. Come on, show me your cool self. <laughs> Alright. If you took a shower all natural on the rooftop of an abandoned building with no one around, I think it'd be super wild and stylish. <laughs> Neptune, I don't think that will... Really? That actually worked? That actually worked? What? Uh, I guess it can't be helped. I if you insist, Nepsy, then I will show you. Oh. Let's see some boobs. Oh my gosh. Ah. Alright, alright, alright. This game is definitely pre-Sony, uh, getting all Puritan. No way! You're actually going to undress? Wowie! You're so stylish, Uzume! You're way past cool. You're awesome! Uh, damn it. This is so embarrassing. Oh, no. Huh? What did you say, Uzume? Uh... I, I didn't say nothing. I'm not embarrassed by this at all. In fact, it feels good to be this liberated. <laughs> he seems to be getting desperate. But how did you manage to make her undress, Neptune? I didn't have proof, but ever since we first met, she seemed fixated on being cool. Instigation's worth it, huh? That was spot on. Oh, she figured out her, her, her weakness. Your weak point. Now that you mention it, you might be right. Aren't you getting into, Gearzy? He's right. You should jump in, Nepgear. It's the perfect level of chili to feel good. But, but um, taking my clothes off outside is... It's too embarrassing. Oh, so she, the, the one's got reservations about in front of others. The other one's like, outside. You mean, like, how everybody was before we started building houses, you know? Is that default setting? Oh, what? I didn't know you swung that way. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you getting hung up about? We're all girls here, so you don't have to worry about being seen, right? Besides, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience to bear it all in the middle of a city like this. I don't think I need that kind of experience. Really? really? What? Alright, Nepsy. If it's come to this, let's undress her. I won't forgive you for being the only one not undressing from embarrassment. Uh-oh. Roger that! What? But wait! Um, no! Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, could that? Oh, could that? This is way too embarrassing. No one's looking, right? Yeah, I'm def I'm definitely not looking right now. Yeah, I'm totally not looking. It's fine. There's no one else here but us. Yep, that's right. There's nobody else here. Except you guys. Nobody's looking right. Look it. But thank goodness. Bill, it's kind of fun to take a shower with everyone like this. Maybe because I was alone for so long, it ends up feeling even better. Well then, since we've met like this, we should do a bunch of fun things you've never done before, Uzume. We 
can wash each other's backs in the bath and eat meals together and lots of other great things with each other. Mm hmm That's right. I'd like to do all sorts of fun things with you too, Uzume. Pepsi. Here's he. And it's time to check how much both of you have developed. Uh-oh. Breast exam time. We gotta make sure that you don't have any uh, tumors or anything, okay? Oh, Nepsy! Hee! But please don't touch there! Okay, okay. <gasps> Nep Station's back! Nep Station! Kind of random, but okay. Here, here! Our new sensational program has abruptly started yet again! Its name is Nep Station. In this program, we have a quiz show where you win prizes for correct answers. And a mail order corner where you can buy items only available here. By the way, I'm sure all of you sitting on the other side of the screen know this. But this program is separate from the main story and meta-filled, so keep an open mind. And so, our first episode explaining the program has ended. This has been your host, Neptune! And her younger sister, Nepgear. See you later! Clap, 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 clap. No quiz yet? Morning, Neptunior! What are you up to? Oh, Neptune. I wanted to learn more about this place, so I was gathering information on the internet. Wait, there's an internet now? That is your specialty, after all. So you find anything good? Nothing yet. Our list isn't functioning in this area, so I just connected the end gear to the net by cable. Ooh, that's why the end gear has a cable dangling from it. I'll have to be careful not to step on it. Huh, thanks. Anyway, even if the information is kind of broken, I did find some things of note, like this map. I'm currently repairing it with a software tool. So, once it's done, I'm sure we'll find something. Ooh, I knew we could count on ya! You're super dependable in times like these! Hehe, <laughs> really? Hey, Nepsy. Finally awake, huh? You sleep well? You betcha! I slept so well I had a dream about diving into an ocean of pudding! The blankets were so warm, too. It's kind of nice living in the Stone Age. Everything's so slow and simple. Well, that's good to hear. So, is Gearsy still working on that thing? Yes, I've connected my end gear to the internet to collect information. Huh. That end gear thing is pretty amazing if it can connect to the World Wide Web. It's so thin. World Wide Web? This might be the first time I've heard someone use that phrase unironically. And alright, no one calls it that. No one spell says the full name. But is there any usable information on the web? Most of it's disconnected, and a lot of servers are broken, so I doubt it's functioning properly. It's, like you said, in a pretty terrible state. But it looks like public organization and the Basilicom servers are still online. That's where I found map data. Most of the rest of it was broken, though. Oh, also, I found this through hack- I mean, investigating. But is this your BBS, Suzume? I'm not a hacker, I'm an investigator. I thought I heard hacking just now. Really? I I'm sure it's just your imagination. <laughs> What's this BBS you're talking about? It's this bulletin board called Dream BBS. Most of the threads are about safety confirmations, survival reports, or general discussion, it seems. From what I can tell, it is po is it possibly just using a freely distributed style sheet? It feels kind of nostalgic. Let me see. Show of hands, who's living? And then they do like the forward slash is supposed to be a hand, right? 
I'm lit, dead. You're alive, dumbass. Man, this BBS really gives off the feeling of when the internet had first started spreading. Maybe I'll post something too, since I can. Oh, that thing. I started that board a long time ago. I forgot my password, though. I was never able to manage it decently. Sounds like a call, Nep Jr. Huh? That doesn't sound like mine. Oops, that's mine. That device on Uzume's wrist is that... Uzume, good to hear from you. I'm relieved you're still with us. Well, hey, that giant's still out there. I'm not gonna bite the dust just yet. What's up? You don't usually check in this early. I'll get right to it. You do remember how we've evacuated to the next town over? Of course. Apparently, the baby bugs who live here have found a share crystal. I was very surprised. Really? Let's not get too excited yet. I still need to verify that it wasn't a fabricated report. Uh, okay. Got it. Thanks. Sorry for jumping the gun there. No need to apologize. I'll be in touch. Hey, Uzume! That was the same guy you were talking to yesterday, right? Oh, right. I haven't introduced him to you yet, huh? He'll be back soon. I'll introduce him soon enough. Well, I'm gonna start making my rounds and patrol the city for a bit. Patrolling? What for? Even if the giant's not here, there are still some dangerous monsters running around. I defeat the more prominent ones, just as a means to ensure everyone's safety. Hmm, sounds kind of fun. I think I'll tag along and patrol with you. Not like I'm doing anything here. Seriously? What about you? Hmm, yeah, I'll come along as well. I might make some sort of discovery, too. All right, then. Let's move out. Heck yeah! Well... Pudding, pudding! Pudding, pudding! Pudding, 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 pudding. Oh, the other one's disappeared. Is this gonna be the same tip? Yeah, that's the same one. What's this one, though? Man, I'm kinda hungry. I'd like to eat something good. And as thanks for taking care of us, we'll cook up something for you, Uzume. Oh, really? Sweet. Craving anything in particular? I definitely gotta get some protein before I fight the giant. I'll have some meat, please. Nepkir and I will whip up the best meat dishes we can think of. Uh, can these people even cook? Sorry for the wait, Usame. Here, this is a Salisbury steak. Where the fuck did they find that? I just went to the grocery store. Oh man, so this is a Salisbury steak. I've heard about how delicious they were, but this is my first time eating one. I'm hungry. Jack break is in like 40 minutes, so I guess we can survive. This is great. It's super delicious. I'm glad you like it. Next is my dish. It's a special Nep Nep style katsu bowl. Holy cow. This is the katsu bowl of my freaking dreams. <laughs> hungry. Oh, this is such a great blend of egg and katsu flavors. I didn't know you were such a genius in the kitchen, Nepsy. Neither did I. Has she ever cooked anything? Has there been a story about that in the previous games? I don't think so. Wait, there was the eggplant story in the last game, but I don't remember if Neptune cooked. I think Nepgear did. Ah, you're making me blush. It was worth having Nepgear teach me how to make it, even though there was quite a bit of trial and error. Okay, she's just learning. I guess I can taste how its seasoning could use some minor tweaks, but it's still delicious. 
feel like if I eat this tomorrow, I'll have the strength to take out that giant. Nepsy, please recreate this dish for me tomorrow. Um, about that. Out of ingredients. Hmm? What's wrong? Um, um, the fact of the matter is, uh... Actually, we used up all our supplies to make these. Everything else ended up as black soot. <laughs> Oh, okay, they just barely, they, bar they barely made this. They're, they're halfway decent cooks that are right. Miraculously, these two came out edible. <laughs> what the fuck? What, she's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm Nepgear. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, yeah. Run from Dark Purple. I doubt it's actually called Dark Purple, though. The big lady. Let's try going here. Hey, Usume. So, on your wrist, that's a visual radio, right? Oh, I'm really surprised you knew that. Check it out. Isn't its skeleton body awesome? Yeah, it's such a great piece. Really stylish. I think it goes with your look super well. Hmm? Hold up. Jersey, how do you know about these? Oh, visual radios were very popular in our nation about a decade ago. Although, they stopped manufacturing them a while ago, and I've only ever seen pictures. This is my first time seeing one up close. Huh, I never would have guessed you had these in your nation, too. Is it safe to say that you're kind of a gearhead? Like, you're into machines and tech and stuff? Goodness, yes. Machines and tech are my life. Uh-oh. <laughs> your life? Jeez, Gearzy. You must be really into it. Here, I'll let you borrow this for a while. Really? You don't have to. Are you sure? Well, just don't break it, okay? That would be a big problem, yes. This is a small treasure of mine, so I usually never let anyone else touch it. But you seem to understand its true value. Here you go. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You can back up your save data on this and play mini games too, right? Oh, that's not all. True to its name, you can use its radio function to listen via shortwave or even use it as a walkie-talkie. Also, if you connect it or connect to a terminal using a cable, you can even go on the internet. It's a pretty sweet piece of gear. That's so amazing, Uzume. Oh, how nice it must be to own one. You think we might find any around? Maybe some left behind by people? Hmm, well, I haven't found any before. But if I do, I'll let you know right away. These kinds of things should be carried by people who understand its value. The nerds! We're going back here. Maybe we'll be able to, uh, uh de destroy the boxes this time. I choose you! Hey, maybe... Nip you out of The XE drive gauge just goes back down. We won. You have to fill it with each battle on. Turtle shells! Woohoo! Turtle for dinner. Uh, can't we just hang out here? No. Full speed ahead! Easy. <laughs> I win. Jump! Boing! 
Boing! Oh, you can't reach? Rip. I'm a force of fury. You're ten years too early. How's that? Was it cool? Super cool. The boxes are still here too. No, I don't have to deal with them yet. I'm sure they'll tutorial me about it eventually. Far away. I'm a force of fury. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? Murder up. <laughs> I win. We got the first strike. Let's oh, crush him. you all up. Crush him. Seems like even if you get their HP to zero, you have to finish the combo. Which is interesting. Yeah, that's hiding behind boxes. Exclamation point over there. I can't reach you. Lord Goober, what's up? What's up? Let's go on. I don't to that. Pudding! Let's rap. Let's rap. Pudding! We just started our first playthrough of this game today. Pudding has been mentioned already like three times. Get wrecked. I did it. I leveled up. Leveled up. Wait, you could heal too? What? Use a heal it too, huh? Repeat waves. Inkability learning. What? 
This doesn't even count as an injury. It does it. Oh, she could heal now. Same as uh, Nepgears. That one must be a coupling thing. Ah. Need all previous attacks for power. Interesting. experience with, even without participating in battle what uh, get out of here you're participating in battle it's required Like all the nep games are not the party, you don't get XP. Really? That is different. Let me destroy you. Let's got too far back. Man style. This we go over here. See what this is. Whew, I think that's all of them. You're a better fighter than you let on, Nepsy. Skilled hawk hides its talons and whatnot. It's getting late. Let's go pick up Gearsy. <sighs> it's pretty inconvenient to have to connect to the internet using a wire through a public phone. Oh, that sounds very inconvenient. Maybe I can build a few wireless devices and set them up around the city. If only I had the time. It's going to take me a while to sift through all this data I found. Hmm, let's see. Journal 11th, month 27th, day. Wait, wait, 11th, 11th month, 27th, day. I'll say November 27th. The blah, 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 uh, redacted, redacted has been born at redacted Basilica. So it's that's a number. So the like the, the tenth CPU has been born at city's name. Yeah, that, that redacting is not hard to figure out. Blah blah. Some month day, we gave the name redacted to the newly born CPU. How about that, holy CPU. The month some day, so some name has learned a new ability. We decided to call this power uh, power name here. First month, 31st day, it's over. Something, something is too powerful. Neither I nor something can manage it. Or somewhat. Huh, I guess that's all that was in this record. I wonder if this is directly related to the state of ruin this nation is in. I need to go deeper. Hey, 
Snap Jr. Where are you? We're going home soon. Oh, Neptune's calling. Maybe it's best that I tell Neptune and Usume about this when I'm more certain about it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now we're going back home. Well, we're going most of the way back home. I choose you. Oh, it's Umio. Who the hell's that? Hey, were you able to find out about that crystal? Is it the guy? Oh my god, a man in this game. Men in these games? What? What kind of guys in these games? Come on now. I put on my deep manly voice, right? Who's the man? Yes. The legitimacy of the share crystal has been verified. It's quite remarkable. I would have never imagined a share crystal would be here. Now that it's in my possession, I'll be heading back to you within the day. Who are you? Ha! Ah! Huh? Umio! Hey, Umio! That was bad, wasn't it? Nepsi, Gearsy, I need to head over to the nearby town to save Umio. Will you come with me? Do you seriously have to ask? Let's go! Yeah, like, come on, bitch. Don't have to ask. Wow, nearby town is really nearby. It's literally one space over. Oral station, area one, area two, area three, area four? Whoa! Like in the previous games, it most you had like two areas for one dungeon. Now they got them split up more. Two star hidden treasure, what? Uh, can't we just hang out here? Yeah, oh, you select the area you want to go to? Oh. Umio should be around here somewhere. Oh my god, voice acting! Uh, professional paid voice acting, what? Somewhere? He didn't tell you where he was? Hey! Umio! Give us a shout if you're here! Give us a shout if you're here! Budget! I know, right? Budget. I ha I, that was like a uh, paid voice acting for like a while and then all of a sudden there was like this big block of no, no voice acting. I had to do it myself. We found we found some voice dialogue again. What the heck? I wish our communication didn't get cut short. It'd be cool if we found someone who could point us in the right direction. <laughs> I'm not sure rescue missions are ever that convenient. You never know. A mysterious bystander might have been accompanying Umio when he was attacked. Maybe they both escaped. Uh, yeah. Sure. Then, while they're wandering around looking for us, we'll just happen to run into them. Yeah. Right. We'll be totally surprised at the coincidence, and, like, both Uzume and her new pal totally won't be able to believe it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Then, just like that, they'll lead us to where Umio is, and we'll, like, beat up the meanie monsters that were bullying Umio. Umio's saved, and we'll find the share crystal, and we'll be totally super lucky like that. Three, yeah. chance someone will appear to show us the way, right? Goodbye, cutesy voice. Uh, Usme. <laughs> Sorry, but what in the world was that thing you just turned into? Uh, oh, I think you're just imagining things. I'm uh, pretty sure you just went, oh, cutesy, so I don't think so. No, no, no. I most definitely was not. You just transformed into some kind of valley girl from the 90s or something. Yeah, that's right. That's like, so cool. You were referring to yourself as Uzume in the third person, too. I didn't catch that. You're hearing things. Or maybe there are monsters that can create illusions around here. <laughs> Those crazy beasts. 
<gasps> it's so cute. It talks too. Is it like the other ones from the last game that were actually children? Uh, I don't know. S someone actually came? Sweet! Nice timing, baby bug. Just something concerning us. More importantly, you seem a little riled up. Is it about Umio? <laughs> They're Uzumoe? Oh, that all right. Yes, you're correct. Umio got attacked by a monster. Oh, and it's awful. I'll show you the way, so let's hurry over. See you two, just like I said, right? I, I can't believe things turned out the way she imagined. Me too, but I'm having a harder time getting over that valley girl transformation. She seems like she's trying to hide it, but... Hey! What are you guys doing? I'm gonna leave you behind! I'll show you the way! Please hurry! Whoa! Wait up! Omeo's in here? Using this place as a house. We happened to find something that looked like a share crystal in the far back, so we asked Umio to check if it was real. But while that was happening, a monster we've never seen before suddenly appeared. I really hope Umio is okay. Okay, I understand the situation. So, was that share crystal the real deal? Yes, of course. Umio is holding on to it right now. So the monster won't destroy it. We better hurry and save him. Oh no! I hurry and save him. Now dare I not be able to destroy these? How's the new game going, Pro? It's going pretty well. Got a lot of similarities to the previous games. And some differences, too! Next, this. Got new maps. Woo! Metro! Oh, I've seen you guys before. I'm getting fired up. Hey, where are you? Oh, you're... Why are you, why are you over there? What do you guys doing hiding over here? What should I do? I'm a force of fury. Yeah! All right, defeat him. Next. Should I... How'd you miss? Get wrecked, you missed. I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. Oh, Whoa. Something defense. I'll be serious. My turn. You have to increase that the 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 wait the, the traveling radius. I swear. So yeah. I finished this stylishly. Legal memory. My gosh, it's illegal, man! It's right now. Rip. Enemy sighted. My turn. Could you guys be so rude? Do, 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 do. Wait, can I get both? Let's see if I can get both. How about that? Too bad you can't adjust the uh, square. You could in previous games. You could do like left and right on the D-pad to turn it. Doesn't seem like you can in this game. But there the. You can? Really? Is it a different button then? Oh, it's L1 and R1. Oh, they changed the button. Uh, they're too far apart anyway. I'll have to deal with one.
I also made it so you have to finish a combo. Usually if there's zero HP, that would uh, kill him. Your extra damage. Oh no. I mean, I can't go this way. Open sesame. Turtle. Wait, I mean turtle. Total turtle shell. Oh, next. Next. I see that treasure box. Herbs. Let's get the ATM. Give me some mana. Next floor. Here we have three. Wouldn't it be two? But okay. Ooh, those pipes. Hmm. Train is gonna come anytime now. The drop combo attack. Hey, I leveled up. Yo, I need to heal soon. Shut up. You only have three, though. Second, third, four. Oh, because first is technically up there. Haven't used power. Uh, I would, uh, uh, well, that one's not going to technically work for the trait because you start with standard. <laughs> not that you can do that anyway because you don't have the right weapon for it, right? Yeah, did you learn something? Oh. Ah. Uh a vibe seven. None of those combo traits really go well together. seem to do the same amount of damage.
you. Start to finish. I'm only Whoa, that's a bunch. Oh, is that the what? Open says me. I already get kind of annoyed by the what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Hey! I was totally ignoring that event to get those boxes. I was like all the way off to the right. How dare that? How dare that? Oh, Uzume, are you pretty well acquainted with this baby bug? Nepsy, we're more than just acquaintances. These little guys are my allies, too. Baby bugs are the most common monsters in this world and live in herds in all sorts of places. They have a network between their herds, too, so they often help me look for share crystals. In return, Miss Usume protects us from the ferocious monsters. Wow, what a beautiful relationship. But, you know, after looking at these baby bugs, I'm starting to feel a little... hungry. Uh-oh. No, don't eat them! Nope! Hungry? You eat... baby bugs? Does everyone in your nation do that? <coughs> Ew, no way! Of course not! Well, at least, I've never eaten one myself. But I heard when you deep fry them in oil, they taste just like fried shrimp! Uh... If you ate me, I wouldn't be delicious at all. Miss Suzume, please save me. Fried shrimp, huh? That does sound pretty appetizing. Uh-oh. Hey, you. Do you really taste like fried shrimp? Can I try a bite? Just a small one? Uh, no. Does being super hungry make people delusional? Because this baby bug is starting to look like a piece of fried shrimp. Hey, baby bug. Can I call you fried shrimp? <laughs> the, the name tag changed too. <laughs> nah! Fried! Oh. Shrimp! Ooh, I love that. What a tasteful appetizing nickname. Goodness, stop that, you two. He's scared. Can't you see how badly she's shaking? Uh, oh, my bad. Got kind of carried away there. You mean, you won't eat me? We swear we won't eat you. CPU's honor. Please, baby bug, lead the way to Umio. Uh, 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 I'm terrified. Team Slicer. wonder what's inside. Life Fragment. Beam Slicer me? is a Nefkir one, right? Wow! 5395. Plus 42. How is it? Equip it. New weapon! Oh wait, that's gonna change the combos, right? Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So you kind of have to change it up more. Still extra 40-something damage, though. Uh. I can't reach that? Really? Um, oh, wait. Next, what's over here? Hey, I've seen these before. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. Oh, nephew, all up. Ah! Oh, Oh, 
Ouch. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You have fun being dead there? You healed me soon, baby. No. Hmm. I doubt you can heal with uh zero. Yeah, I didn't think so. Need I Tom for that. Get your butt back up. You're not allowed to go down. I'm not sure if they did a lot of damage or if I was just not paying attention to her HP. Probably the latter. Those boxes I can't destroy again. Here we are. What are you? You're surrounded. Gundams. It's armored core day again. What should I do? Now, okay, I can get you. Based off of only my voice, I sound like I'm six foot two. Like how tall I am? Are you wrong or not? Uh, you are incorrect. I'm not that tall. Wouldn't that be cool if I was that tall? A tower over all of you. <laughs> Get you guys. Enemy sighted. <sighs> Enemy I said them to keep attacking the one who's defending them. You're six feet yourself. Wow! Look at this tall person over here. Wait, is this where I came from? So there's two? Two upstairs? Interesting. Some of the other ones have respawned. Mackie, whatever that is. Yeah, level up. Woohoo! Oh, this goes to two. Oh, uh, we did go from one to three, and this goes back up to two. Thursday. I gave you the nickname Slenderman. <gasps> You'd be hiding behind a tree, peeking out like what? Be like 
Kill that. Oof! You better not. You better not be sneaking up on people. Oh, what? Oh, what? Ah, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 stay, stay right there. Wait, wait, wait. Where's? Get, come here. You're surrounded. My turn. Take it. Oh, you guys so far away. Oh, I forgot that I didn't one shot the other one. Yeah! All right, defeated. Cool. I'll be serious. Yeah, their damage isn't that bad. I probably wasn't paying attention when she got down. Missed. Oh, come on. Oh, it's going backwards. Uh, wait. Hmm. Obviously, you learn how to destroy boxes at some point. Not going this way right now. Oh, he's back. Destroy him again. Give me more XP. I pro hope you like the new game. I think I will. I think I will. You take care of yourself, Mexican boy. Have a good sleep. Eight hours minimum, okay? It's like a requirement. Holy. Oh yeah, take care of yourself. We're gonna go to those stairs. It's a lot of gas. I don't like these. yourself. There you go. Nope, I didn't see that at all. Oh, different side of area too? Oh. Healing go rest. Rip. You wasted it. You missed. Hmm. 
Hmm, it goes to four. the boxes to get in here. Probably. There they attack me. That's gonna be too far. Where's this one go? Also area four, but different sections. Ah, uh, so this one looks like just treasure. Sure, those boxes do something. We'll find out when we get the ability to break them or whatever. to be in like a Overkill for that guy, but still. Back here. Hey, 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 uh. I wasn't ready. 
think I'm doing a triangle there. Oh, I need the EXE drive gauge for it, don't I? Yeah, EXE one. Uh, okay. I get you. See them hiding treasure back here. Game's like, no. Try the other end. The little bit of the game will be like, no. Boing. Boing. I'm sure there's a challenge for jumping five billion times like last game, so. There's nothing down here. God damn it. You're supposed to reward me for my explorative efforts. Be kangaroo champion level two now. What? <sighs> Crazy. Targets confirmed. What did I do? Failed. I'm a force of fury. Let's try. Let's go. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, surround coordination trophy earned. Oh, what happened to you? I like how her face is changed at the bottom. She's just like, eh. die. I'm seriously gonna die. No, you're not. We'll be fine. I think I can get both. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
Yeah, wreck. Total victory. A little late for snacky break, aren't I? Ooh, the big events over this way. Interesting. Oh, this is level two. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the other side of that fence I couldn't go past. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Did zero damage, so yeah, I agree with it. Those boxes must do something. Maybe items or something. No, oh, nothing to be happy. That's goddamn right. Don't you know how it works around here? The event is before the save point. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, there's a public phone. I'm sorry. Could you two wait here for a moment? What's up? What's happening? How's it going, Guru? How you doing to that? Hope you're doing well. What's up with that? It's not like we don't have public phones back home. He's probably trying to get on the net. You need to use a public phone or an external terminal to access it from outside, after all. I'll just connect the end gear with this cable. There, that should do it. Thank goodness, it looks like I can connect to this city's management server from here. The security is about a decade old, too. Good, I'm in. Definitely not hacking. <laughs> Most of the data is broken. Oh, but what's this? Hmm. Uh oh, more, 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 uh, cryptic journal messages. Something month, something day. Something has been released from something. Even though we were first, it's not looking good. Something month, something day. In order to compete against something, we'll be releasing something. But the release is too late. We can't change this course of events. Someone, please save something. Someone. This is all the data I found. But I wonder if the person who wrote this journal entry is the same person from before. Probably. Hey, Gearsy. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. Sorry, I'll be right there. Are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Late for my snacky break, though. I'm hungry. Hungry! 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 You know, there's a big event coming up over there. If they give you a save point, and there's a treasure box over here. Wonder what's inside. It's money.
probably a boss fight coming up. Your voice got so high. I can do a bunch of ranges. Uh, this is my deep macho manly voice, of course. I totally sound just like a guy, right? Nah, I don't. Nah, I don't. Bring back. Hi, guys! How's it going? We're gonna go slaughter some monsters today. Uh, I, uh, uh, I have an easier time going high than low, sorry. <laughs> I'm late for snacky break, though. I was trying to get to the safe one. Sound like you can beat me up. That's goddamn right, I can. Now you sound like Paimon. God damn it. That's that uh, character from Genshin, right? I haven't played Genshin, but I've heard of Paimon. Now she never shuts up. That sounds so exciting. Alright, 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 alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, press some buttons. Yep, impressive talent. Oh! I'm gonna go flex a new talent. I'm gonna go get food. Plug in my controller here so I can charge. While I'm getting my food. We don't run into that battery low thing later, right? I have a habit of doing. You considered voice acting? That would be pretty cool. I do, I do a, 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 a unprofessional voice acting on games like this when they don't have a voice dialogue already. I do my own voices. What kind of food? Huh. We're probably gonna cook up some rice today. Put it in the rice cooker. That'll be tasty. It'll be tasty. Gotta get it started, though. Gotta get it started. Oh, wow. BRB! All right, let's go press some buttons. Let's press some buttons. Let's see, we just saved. I'm gonna go see what this event has in store. Whoa, there's a bunch of them. I didn't hire voice actors for this part. Who's Boogie? Is it the doggo? Over here, over here! Biggie. Miss Susume is finally here. The Chaz? Is that just the group? We'll be safe now. Huh? Who are those other two? Yeah, who are they? Ah. Whoa! There's a bustling bushel of baby bugs. Amazing. This might be the first time I've seen so many baby bugs in one place. Looks like there are about 30 in all. Oh, uh, wait, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I counted 17? Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wait, 18. Here's that one hiding in the back. It's not 30. False advertising. Not 30, all it's 18. Fried, we're still called the first one fried shrimp. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Where's Umio? Umio distracted the monster, then escaped over that way. Please hurry and save him before he ends up being eaten. <laughs> you baby bugs are pretty tough to wait around to wait around here, even though it's so dangerous. Thank you all very much. Ah, shucks. It's nothing. Please be careful. Some of these baddies look really strong. Ah, oh, no need to worry. I got these two super buff CPUs to help me out. That's right. With me and Neptier helping out Uzume, those unruly monsters won't stand a chance. Yes, please leave it to us. Anyway, baby bugs. That's the situation. So hide out in a safe place, and once it's all over, we'll call for you. You're running off, huh? Yikes! What's happening? There are so many monsters! So, these are the punks that jumped Umio. I kinda thought they'd be more ripped. Oh well, I'll go down easy. Uh. You implying Umio's a weakling because he was uh, chased off by, th by these uh, monsters that aren't even ripped? Miss Usume, can you really defeat them? I think you already know the answer to that one, baby bug. Epsi, 
Gearsy, let's go. We won't lose. It's a horse. Unicellos? Like, oh wait, Unicellos? Like unicorn? What's the Eldos part that come from? Uh? What should I do? Whoa, he's a bit tougher. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? You shall see. Alright, Rachel. My turn. What? Good man. I get it. I thought it was pretty hard to attack, but that bastard's got a physical barrier. Those wings are looking pretty suspicious. If I were to position myself in front and punch it, I might break him. Hmm. Just run away? How's the rice? It's pretty tasty. Confirm it's his tasty rice. Can't get over your vocal range. The enemy barrier or the enemy's barrier disappeared. Now's the time to strike back, everyone. Oh yeah, the wings disappeared. For the sake of the others, I can't lose. A weakling has fallen. Are those plans? Those look like plans. Are you shaking that cola? Shake, 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 Wow, you get extra credits based on damage and stuff. And parts destruction. That should be the last of them. Got rare item. Trophy earned! We found the, the professional voice dialogue. I think you're right. Since there aren't any more monsters around, we should be able to look for Umio freely now. Hey, what's up with this Umio guy anyway? He's always calling Uzume with that mega classy voice of his. <laughs> He's probably so handsome. Guarantee it, he's a monster. He's a talking monster. Call it now. Because uh, Uzume already said there's no other humans, so... What could he be other than a, t a talking monster? She also said some monster talks, so. Looks like the tr girl from Magica Madoka. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Ralphie! That's right. Your trophy level must be like 100. Uh, isn't it like 300? Something. I can check super quick.
379. Referee level is 379. Umio, are you okay? Yes, I I'm alright. I apologize. I've caused you such unnecessary trouble. Oh, cut it out, Umio. I'm just glad you're here. I have some friends that want to meet you. Friends that wish to meet me? Nepsy, Gearsy, come over here. I have someone I want to introduce you to. Well, come on already. This guy's the guy who also did the narration in the beginning, I think. This is Umio. You're so handsome, right? I told you would be talking, monster. What? A fish man? With a seriously stoic face? The, the gap between his smooth voice and wild appearance is astounding. Uh, so you are the people Uzume wished to introduce to me. First, allow me to thank you for coming here to rescue me. I am eternally grateful. Despite his fishy appearance, his voice is godly, and his lines are so refined and smooth. Isn't he adorable? Uh, adorable? Yeah, don't you think he could be like a super adorable leisurely mascot character? If he was made into a cell phone strap, Uzume totally thinks it would get popular. Yeah, sure. Neptune, do you think he's adorable? No, not in the slightest. Uzume, you're doing it again. Oh! <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what's up. That being said, it is a first for me to see humans other than Uzume. I had come to believe they were all wiped out. A first? Wiped out? Hmm. It looks as if these two young ladies have yet to comprehend the gravity of our situation. Before it returns, let us move to a safer area. We can converse there. Before it returns? What does that mean? It would appear we were not quick enough in our exit. It must have caught wind of us and returned. Uh, oh, the. This guy is. It's the one we failed to finish off. Why is it here? I can only guess, but perhaps it ran away from us and ended up here in the city. Damn it! I'm so sorry, Umio. It was because of my negligence that this all happened. There is no time for that now. The opponent is wounded. Uzume, can you finish this? Of course. I'm going to end our faded relationship here and now. He's already at the front. Hey, say front. Unless you're talking about like formation, which would be kind of silly. Get a little fiercer. It's turn. It's my turn. I've been waiting. Spiral dream. Oh, right, they're not in the same setup. She's uh, transformed, the other two aren't. Fish fetish? What? I mean, Uzume can like whatever she wants, okay? Should I do? Yeah. Here I go. 
Oh yeah, there's multiple HP bars. Shut up. Damn, that heal pretty much did not just got deleted. Spiral dream. Here's a heal. Thank you. I'll be serious. Defensive cheer. Not bad. What should I? Why do you have three HP bars? How many HP bars do you need? Level up. Woohoo! Yay! I leveled up. Woohoo! Yippee! We won! An amazing victory! Woohoo! It was a super easy victory thanks to you two being here. <laughs> That giant and I can finally duke it out without being bothered by that stupid mutt. Thank you so much, Miss Uzume. We didn't know what we'd do when it appeared. How can we ever thank you all? Hey, it's no big deal. You guys found a share crystal for me after all. Uzume, here. This is what the baby bugs discovered. Thanks, everyone. Let us return for now. I'm sure you're all tired. Hmm. What was that mysterious question mark voice? Hmm. to circuit huh I did it I leveled up good 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 let's try going here these guys really can't voice anything except main dog some things never change Umio's rescue, everyone! Cheers! Juice party, okay? Not alcohol, juice. Cheers! 
I'm afraid I can't uh, um, imitate his smooth, manly deep voice, right? Cheers is what I wish to say. But why is this a roasted fish party? Uh oh. He's offended. Well, this is the only food I had on hand. Man, I'm glad I fished up so much for the reserve supply. I understand what you are saying. And I also understand that fish is the most abundant nutritional resource in the area. But for me, this is basically cannibalism. And this is freshwater fish at that. This each some of yourself. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Umio. Don't fret, Umio. Uzume cures ya. I'll get you some krill in a little bit. Uh, krill's still a fish. Uh, it's, it's, it's different enough, right? Krill? Hmm. Well, perhaps I will partake. Wink. I'm sorry too, Umio. We wanted to celebrate your return, but we didn't really know how to prepare anything very elaborate. I can make simple sweets, but when it comes to meals, uh, it's not really my strong suit. It's nothing you need to apologize for, Gearsy. Wait, he's calling me Gearsy now too. The gesture is more than enough for me. Thank you. By the way, what do you two usually eat? I can't imagine there are many other things available aside from canned foods. When necessary, we do utilize our canned goods. But normally, Uzume prepares meals with anything she can find out there. Granted, they're simple dishes, of course. And we generally season and heat the gathered ingredients to create our meals. Ooh, you guys ha should have your own survival reality show or something! Oh, have you ever eaten locusts or snakes or frogs before? Uh, oh my gosh, like seriously? No freaking way, Nepsy. Ew, slimy little frog legs. Totally gross. I mean, if you were hungry enough, you'd eat anything, right? Hmm. Language? She didn't say anything bad. Ah, uh, fuck! I say word things of that shit! I mean, I mean got me fruitcake. Eckity hex. Who's my language? <coughs> yeah, no way in hell I'd eat one of those ugly bastards. <laughs> ah, that's, 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 that's the wrong direction for the lag language. That's the wrong direction. She said more language? Okay. Oh, it'd have been really cool if you were able to chow down on some exotic grub like that. Oh, well. C-cool? Do you mean I could be... cool? Huh? Uzume is kind of cute getting excited about being cool. Um, duh! I see. So, people think you're cool if you can eat frog. Maybe I'll try it out. Wait, don't get tricked, Uzume! Neptune, you gotta stop saying weird things like that to people. It's not very nice. Sorry, Nepgear. I couldn't help it. Uzume, before I forget, the baby bugs gave these to me as a gift for helping them. Would you like to take some? <laughs> Those are shiitake mushrooms! They're delicious if you roast them on a skewer. And the sight of you avariciously devouring them would be quite... Delightful. Uh... Uh... Excuse me? Is, is this fetish watching people eat food? Like, what? Huh? Uh, I don't know how to interpret that line of dialogue I just read. <laughs> hey, Ivor, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's this anime video game? This is Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 or something like that. Victory 2, something like that. Yeah, I played, uh... Well, I played all the Rebirth games. I did Rebirth uh, 1 and 2 a couple years ago. We did uh, Rebirth 3 last year. And now we're doing the fourth game in the series. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand this fish guy's dialogue. 
Nuh-uh. No. No freaking way. I don't care what anyone says. I'm never eating those things. Dear me. Your disdain for shiitake mushrooms is incredibly worrisome. He's having fun teasing her. You don't eat shiitake, Uzume? You can't. Can't stand the taste or texture. It's truly a shame. They are very convenient. Shiitake mushroom... Mushrooms? Mushrooms? F12! 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 It's not how you spell mushrooms. We must alert the devs and they have to fix this and patch it right now. This is unacceptable. Blah, 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 blah. Shiitake mushrooms are exquisite, roasted or boiled, and they perform wonderfully in soup stocks. Soup stock? I wouldn't touch one with a 10 foot pole if it was made out of share crystals. I'm not eating them. Uh... Well, anyway. Now that we're nourished, I suppose it's time we explain what has actually transpired here in this nation. Additionally, I extend my deepest gratitude to you both for saving me. Now, could you tell me just how you both happened to come to the city? Oh, yeah! That's why we're in a bit of a bind! I see. I'm beginning to make sense of your unique predicament. So, you've come here from another continent? Or perhaps have burrowed your way out of an underground nation? Or you're delusional? I could construct several different theories. But, I believe the most probable is that you both come from another dimension. Uh. No way! Aw, damn it! I hate to say it, but yeah, I mean... I guess we could have managed to venture to another dimension yet again. I know, right? We did that last game, too. Yet again? May I assume that you both have done this before? Journey to an alternate dimension, I mean. Yep, you're right on the money, my fishy friend. And we went through a lot of trouble to get back home last time, too. I hate dimension hopping. Time gets all wacky. You were gone for years, but, but back home, only a few days had passed. Ridiculous. Oh, I believe I understand now. So, how will we get home, big sis? If we're really in another dimension, we probably can't even contact Eastwar. Enough, up, Neb Jr. At least we know where we are now. That's pretty good. If we know where we are, then all we got to do is find out where the path from here to home is. But how do we figure out what a path like that even looks like? Umio, are monsters really the only ones here? Maybe there are other people that have just gone into hiding somewhere very far away? Now that I think about it, did none of the CPUs from the other nations survive? Where are they? I apologize, but as far as I know, the only CPU that exists is Uzume. There used to be people here though, right? There are still traces of them left on the internet. Indeed. They existed a long time ago. Without knowledge of their existence, I would not have thought of you as human. However, when I was born, this world was already in the state of desolation and ruin. That's why I was quite surprised to meet you both. So, does no one actually know why the world ended up in this condition? Uzume states that the giant, as she calls it, is the direct reason. But I believe an even greater cause exists. Hmm, would you take a look at this? It's some data I found, although it's a little broken. Hmm. This appears to be a journal. The text is buggy here and there. But this truly is quite fascinating. Umio, I'd like to investigate more about what's happened in... What's happened to this world? To this world? F12! This is like the third typo I've seen. How dare they? My ability might not be great, but allow me to help. We may uncover information vital to the safety and preservation of this world. Thank you very much. Incidentally... Uzume has been rather quiet for some time now. Sleep it. 
she's uh, she's quiet because she's sleeping. She appears to be in a deep sleep. This is unsurprising, considering she was already exhausted before devouring that large meal. Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you both up just to talk. I'm sure you're both very tired as well. Please, it's no trouble at all. Actually, Umiro, there's something I wanted to ask you about Uzume. Though, I noticed Uzume's personality and speech kind of change randomly once in a while. What the heck is up with that? She is pushing herself. Pushing herself? Originally, she was a girl with a cheerful disposition, much like when she transforms. What? Really? Even if she acted carefree, she was very earnest. She may have believed that, as she was, we could not rely on her in this crumbling world. As she continued a life of survival and combat, her personality and speech slowly changed. I believe Uzume was like that in the past. That's why she's so hung up on the idea of being cool, huh? There must be some part of her subconscious that relates being cool to being reliable. But one's personality is not something so easily changed. As Uzume has always been prone to daydreams, she often returns to her true self during those times. Oh, yeah, I've definitely noticed that. <laughs> now then, it's quite late. We can speak of what our next steps will be in the morning. I'm sure you are both tired, so please get some rest. Yes, you're right. I really am exhausted from fighting today. Good night, Umio. Thanks for speaking with us. Night! See you in the morning! Yes. Good night. Pleasant dreams to you both. Alright. No preview. Suddenly starting again today is Nep Station! With me, your host, Neptune. Today, I'm joined by... Me, Uzume Tenoboshi. With an awesome broadcast, just for you. Man, I'm glad we were able to save Umio safely. Yeah, I was able to defeat that mutt too. It must be because I'm so cool. Well, let's forget about whether or not Uze Uzume is cool or not for now. What? Since we're here, let's try acting out an episode preview thingy. Take it away, Uzume. After saving Umio, what awaited Nepsi and company was another type of hell. Greed and violence settled in after destruction. A city of Platform Zero, created after 100 years of war. If you throw vice, treachery, corruption, oh wait, corruption, and chaos into a blender, you get zero dimension. Next episode, Swirl. We'll have you follow Nepsi and us into hell wasn't really an episode preview in the slightest, but oh well. Bye-bye! <laughs> Neptune here. I want to eat pudding! Tough shit. Goodness, what should I do? There isn't any pudding around. And even if I wanted to make some, we don't have the ingredients. What's going on? I can hear you guys from outside. Greetings. Nepsi is lively as usual, I see. Oh, Uzume. Umio. We have a bit of a problem. Pudding! If I don't have any pudding, I'll die! Pudding! Oh, well, it's so sad. And there's our problem. Ma. Ah. I understand. Unfortunately, unless we somehow make it ourselves, we won't find any. No, 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 no! Pudding! Tough shit. Hear me. I'm finding it difficult to tell which one is actually the older sister. It 
may be Nepsi's influence, but now I want to try eating some pudding. Right? You want to eat pudding too, right, Uzume? A bittersweet taste of caramel sauce poured over a nice portion of cold, refreshing custard pudding. Even one day without it causes this Neptune to feel all sentimental. Why are you talking in the third person? He's trying to trigger the, the cutesy side of Uzuma. Let's see what's going on. I'll show you what's going on. Uh-oh. It works like a charm. She's all raring to go. Off in her daydreams. Custard pudding, huh? But green tea pudding and chocolate pudding are great too. Maybe we can go find some ingredients in some abandoned grocery stores nearby. If they had the base for pudding, it'd even be more super ultra lucky, right? If we found some, Uzume would totes want to make yummy sweets and treat all her beautiful friends. Oh, it's been quite a while since I've made some. How about we make a whole bunch of diff kinds of puddings and have a big pudipa together? Is that like pudding celebration? What? What? Oh, when I say pudipa, it's a shortening for pudding party. Doesn't it sound like ultra mega fun? So, yeah, pudding might, party might be kind of tight, or so maybe we could try it out or whatever. But the problem is the ingredients. You need eggs and milk, right? With the world in this state, I don't think we're gonna find either. Wait, we might actually have some eggs. What was she staring at? Why are you staring in my direction? Hey, Nepsy, you think we could make pudding out of fish eggs too? What? F fish eggs? Fish pudding, wow. This might be a whole new breed of pudding on our plates here. This needs to happen for science. Just a moment, you two. I want you to calm down first. Can he, can, uh, d d can he even do fish eggs? I can't say I know enough about fish breeding. Do the eggs come from the male fish? I don't think I don't know. I don't think so. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. No matter how you look, I am a male fish. Even if you were to cut my stomach open, you wouldn't find what you're looking for. He's like, I'm not a seahorse, get out of here. Damn. Until today, I had never before thanked my parents for bringing me into the world as a male. You have your share of troubles too, don't you, Umio? Alright then, Nepsi. It's still possible there are some ingredients left somewhere. Let's go search for them. You're right! Ooh, even if we find enough ingredients for one spoonful, it's worth it! And they're gone. That they are. Off the go. Fish pudding, um... Yeah, I know, right? Fish pudding sounds like a horrible abomination. Like, no thank you. I'm tired. We have anything new in the shop? We do! Plus 21. Hmm. I guess we'll get it. How's that? How do you buy it for a mirror, though?
that tall, maybe? Ah. Okay. Leather armor's better. Bangle's 30 vitality though. It's cause uh mentality. How's that? Was this the same hint about the help thing? Yes. Is Neptune back yet? Hope you're doing well tonight, by the way, if you stop fuse muse. Uh I can't even get the name right. I'm doomed! I'm doomed! Oh shit. They found some eggs, so though. So hopefully not fish eggs. Neptune here, I found some eggs. Uh huh. I've got milk and sugar too. I think we're all set for now. What? You too, Uzume? There were actually some monster peddlers nearby who just opened up a shop! Not only that, but everything here is 100% organic and fresh. This feels just a little too convenient. I know, right? Well, as long as we have food we can eat, I think anything's fine at this point. Let's start whipping up this pudding right away, Gearsy. Yeah. I'll just hang out with you while they work their magic, Umio. Considering we've never had a chance to sit and have a talk together, this may be the perfect opportunity to deepen our friendship. <laughs> hmm? Where's that coming from? Ah, sincerest apologies, Nepsy. It appears to be a call from one of my friends. Please, excuse me for a moment. There he goes! <sighs> oh, I got nothing to do while I wait for pudding! Oh well, they say hunger is the best ingredient. I think I'll take a walk to get my blood flowing. Okay. Alright, the pudding's finished! This is right, this is right. Neptune, the pudding's done! Sorry about that, Nepsy. We made way too much, so it took quite a while. Whoa! Why are there baby bugs? Ooh, good job, you two! Thank you for the hard work! Hmm... I heard Boogie's voice one time and it was like some deeper voice, right? Oh, it's Miss Uzumai! What's going on here? I had some time to kill before you guys were done, so I took a walk around and ran into these baby bugs. I thought eating delicious sweets together with everyone makes them even more scrumptious. So I invited them over. Nice idea, Nepsy. We used all the ingredients we bought, and we made way too much. Now I'm really hungry, too. I can't wait for the pudding. I will boil us some tea, then. Our surroundings may be decrepit, but let's treat ourselves to a tea party. Ah, tea party time. I am so stuffed. I just can't get started up unless I have a pudding a day. Oh, uh, well. I guess it's a good thing you got some pudding then. BA Pro, that's right, that's right, that's right, totally. You're a bit big chillin', grinding some Grand Blue Relink. Raffle Rage? What? What? Raffle Rage? You know, you gotta show these um uh, trophies who is in charge around here. And get all the things. <laughs> you really do love your pudding, don't ya? Yeah, that's right. 
tea you made for us was really delicious, Umio. What kind of tea is this? Thank you. It's my original blend. I'm a bit of a hobbyist when it comes to tea. I can give you some of this blend if you'd like. Really? Thank you. Looks aside, you really are a gentleman, Umio. I think he's pretty handsome on the outside too, you know? Uzume likes fish, guys. That's right. Uzume had that sort of style sense. Now that our tea party is winding down, I would like to have a meeting discussing our future strategies, if you are all willing. I don't mind. I'm super down. My motivation gauge is at max now that my belly's full of pudding. Well, let's jump in immediately. I just received a call informing me of a place where share crystals may be located. We've used up a lot from the previous fights, so it'd be great for me to restock my supply. Furthermore, we can surmise that there is a large supply of share crystals at this location. We might even be able to execute our plan. Oh, no. That was supposed to be her. We might even be able to execute our plan. Oh. Uh, they, uh, how dare they make both their names start with a U? They're gonna confuse me. How dare they? Fish Riz. Uh, uh, I mean, um, uh, yes. Fish Riz. Fish Riz. That's right. That's right. Indeed, as long as we have the necessary share crystals, our preparations will be complete. Which means we can finally... So what's this plan you guys are talking about? It'd be nice if you let me and Nepgear in on this stuff so we can understand. Oh, right. My bad. To explain it simply, it is a plan to defeat that Colossus you've already seen. Uzo, what? You have a way to defeat that giant thing? After repeated battles with it, I came to realize that it's weak to share energy. However, because of its size, even if you strike it with share energy on a single point, it has little effect. This is why we are attempting to contain it by creating a special barrier that uses a huge amount of share crystals. Holy moly! That's a pretty crazy plan. With that, even a giant would get clobbered. Yep, that's the idea anyway. Let's hurry and go get those crystals. Get some crystals! Is there something that you would like to ask of me? Yes. Uyo looks like he'd grow legs as he matured and eventually become a frog. But how is he in reality? I don't know what you're on, but that can't possibly be true. He's a damn fish. Y you're right. That'd be ridiculous. Umio? Uh, what's with that body? What are those creepy legs? Definitely not frog legs. <laughs> You're being quite rude, Nepsy. Look how beautiful these legs are. La la la. La 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 la. Okay. I'm doing ballet. Legs. His legs. Please, anything but those legs. What's wrong with some human legs? On a fish! It looks like they're having the same dream. But what did they mean by his legs? Oh, they're Draven. How convenient. Wow! Going up there. Oh, I actually made it up there without a fight? What? Huh. So there are share crystals hiding even in, pl in a place like this. Wow. I can't believe such a beautiful place still exists in this world. 
You must realize that this place is this way because this is where share crystals reside. Why is that? The lands of this nation and of this world are almost completely lifeless. I personally believe that the dead land directly correlates to the fact that the amount of CPU's protecting power has greatly diminished. The sole reason game industry exists is due to the protective powers of the CPU's. That's just like my nation too! Lanaptoon can't do anything without me around! However, according to the ancient texts, it is said that the source of the CPU's power is, in actuality, the faith of the people. If this world bears no human population, CPUs can no longer manifest their true power. My theory is that these share crystals scattered across the lands are the crystallizations of the faith of all those who used to exist here. I suppose that CPUs and their people create nations by developing a relationship that is mutually supportive. It was the same in the game industry of another dimension we explored before. That means no matter the dimension we're in, game industry will usually operate in the same way. Well, that makes my job of explaining it much easier. My recent investigations have found that this is the only nation which still exists. There is literally nothing beyond the mountains and oceans. Rip. Though it was true after all. No effing way! So oh, that means that we're seriously in an end of the world situation? End of the world is quaint in comparison. Let us return to the previous topic. Though, so, although Uzume is a CPU, this nation is still slowly perishing. Any ideas as to why that is? No. Considering Uzume remains dependent upon a steady supply of share crystals, I believe this world has not accepted her as its CPU. What? She's like, how dare you. In a world without CPUs, this place may no longer even be a game industry. What do you think will happen to this world if its very last nation falls into ruins? It would disappear, wouldn't it? If we ventured to give a name to this shell of a game industry, you could perhaps call it the Zero Dimension. I'm not giving up. Even if this world doesn't accept me, everyone else here looks up to me as a CPU. I'm sticking it out till the end. Back to the topic at hand. The beauty and abundance in this place is due to the Share Crystal's energy feeding this entire forest. This happens every time. The natural abundance in this area is proof of the immense power held within these share crystals. And, like, this is a huge forest, right? That means there has to be a big enough share crystal power at work here. But if we take all the share crystals we find here, won't this forest wither and die? Correct. Areas like these are quite precious, however. So we try not to remove all of the crystals. That's good. That means we can come back on a field trip and look at all the pretty flowers. N Neptune, Umio was discussing a fairly grave topic with us, and that's what you decide to contribute to this conversation? Yes. Yep, Junior, don't you get it? Everybody needs a little normalcy in crazy times like these. Those everyday pleasures are so important. Wow, oh, normalcy? You're so right. Once we finish all of this, coming here and just staring at the flowers would be so... beautiful. We could throw a huge party and invite the baby bugs and everyone else! That does sound really nice. I could even make a whole bunch of pudding like I did today. I'll help out too. I want to try making different flavors. How long has it been since I've seen such a happy expression on Usume? If it were possible, I'd wish for her to always have such a smile on her face. Dappy! 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 Time to kill things.
Oh, interesting. Quite a triangle. I'm gonna do a line. Here we go. Okay. Later. It's my turn. Yay, I got one. Yay, we won. Huh? A scratch? Oh, you're right. When did I get this? This one's rush. Interesting. Tax for power. There you Heal. Oh, a Koopo kitties. Oh, a squirrel cat now. What? What should I do? 
Really? My turn. Yeah. your burden. All right, defeated. Next. Looks like we win this match. I can get all three. Well, I, there we go. Yeah. All right, defeat it. Next. Did not have bad. Oh, you must. I've never seen that anime before. This dogo looks tough and have eyebrows. It looks so mean. Hey, oh, it's me. It's been a while. Oh, hey, it's you, Goobs. Yeah, it's been a while. What? Is this dogo also an acquaintance of yours, Uzume? Yeah, Goobs is one of my allies here. You may not look like it, but old Goobs here is the head of the dogo tribe. I guess you can't judge a dogu by its cover. Come here, goobs, you little rascal. Aw, oh, there, there. Who's a good dogu? <laughs> oh, this girl really knows her way around. So, what's up, goobs? What are you doing out here? We were finally of some help to you, Uzumai. We're the ones who found the crystals. Ah, I should have known it was you. Thanks, Goobs. You really outdid yourself. These monsters seem to get seem to really get attached to you, Uzume. I'm not doing anything special, really. These guys get friendly all on their own. By the way, my other friends are also out searching for more crystals right now. You better go look for those too. I don't want these guys running into trouble on my behalf. It's no trouble. We like to be relied on, and Truthfully, it wouldn't hurt if you acted more like a CPU and took a little more control. Even if you put it like that, it's just not my thing, Goobs. You know that. Yeah, I feel ya, Uzume. You're a lot like me. You don't have time to be bossing everyone around. You can't sit still. Uh -huh. That's kind of true. I'd rather be on the front lines with everyone, too. We're gonna go search over that way. So if you find anything, just come t call us. Understood. Goo. Let's head out. Let's head out. Let's do it. Oh. 
Who could this possibly be? Hmm. Who could this possibly be? Let's look at this the shadow character model. Let's think about previous villains in previous games. Uh, I mean, obviously R4. Like, come on. Dragon Quest Slime became a dog. Yes! Absolutely. Who could that possibly be? I don't know. Must be a new villain. New character. Get over here. Here we go. Can I get okay, hit okay, okay, okay. You're not Here half bad. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Not bad. I'm doing some damage by there being so many of them. What should I do? I don't think I can get any with that anyway. Okay. So many of them. What should I do? I guess you can heal. backwards. I'm a genius. Is that? Could be a weak rat. Yeah. I don't know if they have strong enemies in this game or not. Oh, uh, I need to heal, don't I? What should I do? Heal. Some damage. Leave this to me. I'll heal you. I thought I was a girl. Now, who to choose? To the chest. Ouch. I'm a force of 
Going to sleep, Gina. You take care of yourself. You have a good night. Get your eight hours, okay? Totally. Required. Totally. Add time. Do that thing you, Bob, or just like, how is that? I read like a couple during the starting soon, but not, not too crazy. Not too crazy. Anyway, enjoy your ads and have a good night. Good luck. Good luck. Add dodging, right? I'm gonna die! I'm seriously gonna die! Yes, you are. Wait, no, you're not. It'll be fine. Back two minutes is right. It worked. Did everyone see how I did? Bro, Lily rank up. Wow. They give you notifications then. Oh, well, it's more of those box things. And we haven't found out how to get rid of it. I guess it's time to go to the next area. Oh, come on. Ooh, that might be an uh, issue. Wait, what? Poison? I've been poisoned. Poison is, of course, a status effect. The afflicted character's HP will decrease at the start of each turn they are poisoned. When a character is poisoned, it will display the status around the character and on their info at the bottom of the screen. You can use the item Detoxin to heal the poison effect. It continues after the battle's over. That sucks. Left untreated, poison will continue affecting a character even after the battle ends. So don't forget to heal the status as soon as you can. Rip. Everybody getting poisoned. How dare they? Oh, she recovered from poison on her own. Oh, so did Neptune. Wait. Got it. Duh. Data manager, tell you you're getting fifty five percent or not? Uh, I don't have ad manager turned on or activated, so I didn't just look at it. Well, it's pointless to do the spam. Oh, I only did it a couple times. I didn't really spam it. I don't have the blue bar thing turned on. You have to like add it to your thing, right? Screen manager or whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll have to look at that later. Turn it on. What? Hmm. I'm sure it's around somewhere. Let's have to put in the autoplay one. Like, what a bit of every 20 minutes or three minutes an hour. Ah, okay. I definitely haven't done that. Oh, wrong direction. Hey, I Didn't time it right. Oh. As a root. I was the first 40 minutes makes those mostly disappear. Oh, okay. I'm definitely still on just pre-rolls right now. I'll have to look at that later. Treasure. I don't think I can fight you. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, that's a cute um, uh, cat. Whatever it is. Looks like a cat. Very cute cat. Good night. Good night, Dino. Take care of yourself. Get your ZZZs. It's an hour door. Eight hours minimum, of course. Holy. Ah! Hmm, I can't find nothing. Gearsy, any luck over there? There doesn't seem to be anything here. How about you, Nepsy? <sighs> no more. I'm tired. I can't take another step. Looks like no luck there either. Waking up at seven. Well, you're gonna have to turn the clock back a couple hours to make that eight hours then. I'm just saying. Apple teas. <laughs> Have a good dub, uh, six hours. Oh. Not quite six hours, but still. Go to sleep right now! Hey, cat. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? Nep nippers, nep poggers! That's right, that's right. It's time for the next Neptunia game. I did Neptunia Rebirth 1 and 2 a couple years ago. I did Rebirth 3 last year. And now, now the time has come for the next one in the series. I get the bunch of Nup 20 uh, V2 or something like that. I reset. I think it's Victory 2, maybe? Hold on. Who's am I? Nepsy seems tuckered out. Why don't we rest a little while? Yeah, you're right. We still have quite a long way to go, so we should. What's up, Goobs? You're in a big hurry. I found a share crystal, Goo! Please come with me to check it out. Really? How big is it? It's bigger than any we've seen before. Hell yeah. Oh man, it's been so long. We're fi gonna finally defeat that giant. This is great, Usume. But I'm a little jealous. Jealous? Of the share crystal? You can use a share crystal to replenish your share energy. But it's not possible for us. If we had share energy too, we could help you out more. Don't worry about it. Really, you're already a huge help as it is. I personally would like to witness all three of you lined up and transformed. Uh-huh, but you would. 
Oh man, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? It'd be like something out of a Sentai Ranger show. Hey, Nepsy, Gearsy, it's worth a shot. Wanna try using my share crystals? We wouldn't have problems if we could use those to transform. It sucks, but it looks like we can't get shares from those crystals. How about eating them? Oh, okay. Eating it? No, no, no. Share crystals are way hard. There's no way they could be chomped on. What about if we crush them into powder? Then you could mix it up with pudding. Or mix it with pudding. Say no more, right? Ooh, that sounds delicious already. What? That's what you'll agree to? Uh, I think that may be a bit of a stretch, you two. And maybe Umio and the others could try their... Oh, wait, she's going to the moe mode. And maybe Umio and the others could try their hardest to make shares. Don't you think it'd be cool if we borrowed strength from our friends to go HDD at once? Like in a cool anime show? You totally do, huh? Oh, I so totally want to transform and fight all awesomely with you two. If you wish for it, I believe it is possible. Huh? What do you mean by... Also, your speech is slipping. <clears throat> but, well, yeah. If it's not possible, screw it. Anyway, right now, what we gotta do is go get that share crystal. Gee, I wonder who this could be. Hmm, those brats are planning something. Uh, who could that be? No idea. Let's go. One on one. It's totally unknown. Yep. How oh, dare they attack me? So rude. Hmm. Here we go. I'll follow you. Later. Oh. I'll end this all. Definitely not getting there over there. Voice act in a hundred? Yeah! Koopo Cat Claw. I knew they were Koopo Cats. They're called something different now, though. So, uh, I'm gonna need to uh, heal up or something. I need SP Charger. We just got here. Hey, King! What's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? Bop! Bonk! Impossible to know. Yes, definitely doesn't look anything like a character we've seen in like the last three games. Uh, who knows? Shrug, no idea. Get over here. Get over here. It's quite a few. That is so rude. Hmm. I'll practice our triangle formation. Yeah. Only getting the one, but. So rude. So rude! How could you do this to my friend over here? How could you? Hmm. 
Oh, I can't heal her. I got a revive. You're about to go right back down. Wait, virus! How dare they have that in this game? Virus is a status effect. Afflicted characters will not be able to transform. When you have virus, it will display the status around the character and on their info at the bottom of the screen. You can use the item Tough Mill to heal the virus effect. The virus will still remain even after battle ends, so don't forget to heal the status as soon as you can. How dare you. Oh, I don't have a one. Hmm. I up real bad. Everybody doing terrible. Maybe I should heal. Ah, maybe you should. And do some of that. Rest in peace again. Wait, what? I can't hit you at all. <sighs> How dare you? It is magical paper. Wow. I can't go on anymore. Yep, we're all dead. And so, bench. This is where are we? Hey, uh, watch the scenery. Nice scenery. Chad is really is the only person streaming this game. How can this be? I think I'm a little closer to Neptune now. That's easy. Ooh, Lily rank up. Everybody's playing the newest one in the series, probably. That's what it is. Which we totally all uh, done from before. That's right. It's definitely not R4. It's a, somebody else who just looks similar. Sure. Those are those are replenishing the ones I just used. That's right, that's right. 
treasure. Oh, those boxes are hiding it. We'll figure out how to destroy you boxes eventually. Excuse me. Oh, come on. Good thing there's only one. You're surrounded. I've been waiting. What should I do? I'm a force of fury. Don't underestimate me. Not bad. What should I do? Boss yell is you after seeing which hour it is. What? It's a it's a very early in the night. It is not it is not sleepy time or anything. Holy shit! Wait, look at the time. I mean, uh, I mean, we got time to finish this dungeon first. in my video now unheard of i hear you guys found this place especially for me i couldn't thank you enough oh it's miss uzume miss uzume is here we've been waiting miss uzume miss uzume thanked us Ooh, i'm so happy it's the power range i mean the uh, the dogu rangers Cares about the arrows, just nap till eyes blow up. What? What the snap? There are so many doggoos, and they're speaking all friendly like, too. Oh gosh, seeing them warm up to Uzume like this is gonna make it a lot harder to fight them back home. I know, right? The ones back home don't talk, though. My friends, where's the share crystal that you discovered? It's right over here, Goo. Please take a look. Oh man, you guys weren't playing around. This is definitely a share crystal. Its size is remarkable. Uzume, we can finally proceed. I know, I can feel it. The amount of share energy crystallized in this thing is amazing. Everyone, thank you so much. With this, I'll finally defeat the giant. But why bother? Please, allow me to put an immediate end to your delusions. Uh, who could this be? I don't know. <gasps> what, 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 what's going on? Oh, oh, is it the giant? Oh. No way! Why did it show up now of all times? Is it targeting Uzume or the share crystal? Doesn't matter. Little do these idiots know, this actually is gonna work out in my favor. It's the Team Rocket? Oh, I'm, I'm, that'd be far easier, wouldn't it? Crush the giant here and now. Nepsy, Gearsy, lend me a hand. Leave it to us. Yeah. Hey, you big idiot. This ends today. I've crafted this technique especially to defeat you. Prepare to die. Well, I can't have you do that now, can I? What? Uh oh. It can't be. How can this be possible? <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? Come on! Dang it! Who's out there? We literally just found that thing. 
You've earned it, brat. Who the hell are you? I suppose this is the first time we've met like this. Very well, then. I will tell you. Oh, she's gonna tell us. I am called R4. Along with the dark CPU, I am the one who will bring about the end of you and your world. The, the what? The dark CPU? What? There's another one? Uh. R4? Oh, I see you have heard of my power. She an acquaintance or what? Honestly, she's like one of those annoying relatives you don't like too much because she's always criticizing or picking fights with you. Ahem. Let me explain to those in the audience new to the series. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We fought this hero boss lady character called R4 like a billion times in the older games and anime releases. She's so boring. I seriously don't even want to look at our snore right now. She's not about to make us enter a boss fight, is she? Ugh, I'm so over it. Big sis, maybe you should be less meta in explaining it so the players get a more immersive, believable experience. Yeah, 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 my immersion! But in our world, R4 should have perished. And in the other dimension, I thought she had reformed completely. Which means that this R4 must be different from the ones we've seen. It seems like you brainiacs were hatching a fairly thoughtful scheme with that crystal. It's too bad. Now, dark CPU, annihilate every last one of these insolent brats! Where's your sense of sportsmanship? Gone. <laughs> Prattle on all you like. Your end is nearing by the second. No need to hold back, Dark Purple. Thoroughly grind them into dust. Help me! Damn it! Whoa! Also, I thought it was Karumi from the other series. No! R4! Amazing! If only I had the strength to deploy! If I had more power, I could destroy it! But even if I can't win, at the very least, Nepsi and the others! Hey! Nepsi and Gearzy! Take Goobs and everyone else and run! Uzume? What are you talking about? I'm the only one it's after. I'll be the distraction while you get everyone out of here. No, I don't wanna. I'm not leaving you behind, Uzume. This is my fight. This doesn't even concern you. I got you all involved in my fight. My problem. I can't let you die because of that. Well, we don't want you to die either. And now that we're friends, this does concern us. Consider us involved. <laughs> I feel the same way as Neptune. I know we just met, but I could never abandon a friend in need. Hey, come on. The way you two are talking makes it sound like I won't make it. You're worried about it though, right? The share crystal's broken. You have no power. You look totally desperate. What? Oh, jeez. With a face like that, it's even more impossible for us to leave you behind. But we don't have enough share crystals to even think about flipping this situation around. Our plan failed completely. Don't sweat it, pal. We don't even need those crystals. We're gonna beat this thing up the old-fashioned way. Neptune, what do you mean by that? No way. This is share energy? I feel power flowing through me. What? What is this? Huh? Could it be? It's over, Goo. We're so dead. Don't give up, Goo. Uzume. She's gonna... She's 
gonna definitely do something big. That's right! She always managed to come out on top before, and today we have two more friends helping her. Ooh. Is it you guys? I understand now. The faith of the Dogus is flowing into us as sheer energy. Yes, that's it! What's this? But aren't the Dogus monsters? How can this be? It's never happened before. J just roll with it. Don't question it, just roll with it. Let's not sweat the small stuff like logic or plot development. Let's just beat this fool up. Let's go, little nap. Purple Art, I have arrived. I'm Purple Sister Nepgear. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a CPU candidate. You twerps were CPUs? W what was that? Was that a memory? But why would I see that now, of all times? Whatever, it doesn't matter right now. If we have the share energy, then there's only one thing to do. Goobs, we'll put your wishes to good use. Transform! And then, shearing field, activate! Shearing field, activate! What's that? What the hell is going on? This field. This is incredible. What is this power? The plan is a huge success. We captured it within the field. I knew you told us we could contain it, but I didn't expect this space to be created. Is this due to the power of the share energy? This is a sub-dimension created by Uzume's ability. It uses share energy as a medium. Uzume's ability? What is this field? Why can't I gather my strength? Sit down and shut that old lady mouth of yours up! Uh, he's an old lady! We're totally gonna beat up this silly giant you're so proud of! Uh. Okay, here we go! The first and final real and true fight! Yeah, sure, sure. That's totally the final boss. That's the shortest game ever. Each me is the giant battles. Uh-oh. Fights with dark CPUs are giant battles that differ from regular battles. Giant battles occur in a special space called the sharing field. You cannot use normal combo attacks against giant enemies. You have to use battle... You will have to battle using skills. What? There are some skills that cannot be used during these battles. Within the sharing field, you will recover some SP every turn. Watch your SP consumption and recover carefully during these battles. In addition, floating islands are your footholds within the sharing field. If you move to the edge of each island, you can jump to the nearby island with X. Take advantage of jumping when you want to avoid multiple characters getting hit at once, or, or to gather them for recovery. Fight effectively by moving characters and taking advantage of formation skills. They're formidable foes, so do your best. <gasps> now, let us begin our battle. My turn. Interesting. All right, I'll go 
Yikes. That was a lot of damage. Missed. Oh, one of them hit at least. And that right. Beating her up. Dream. Just beating her up all day. Leave this to me. Let's have a EXE drive yet to move though. So hard to heal. Like, come on. Oh, there they My wounds. This one. All right. I'll go calmly. Here we go. Okay. This is nothing. Hmm. Should I see dialogues like how they intended? Why you got old? What? You're not old. You're hip and young, okay? New move. Everybody one shot. Yeah. Almost, anyway. Almost everybody one shot. Crazy, crazy. This one. Leave this to me. You got an extra move, Paul. Huh? 
not close enough yet, right? Oh. Still that close enough? Ludicrous. This one. This is nothing. Leave this to me. I refuse to accept my fate. Use this. Thank you. My turn. That's why I did defensive chair. Wasn't it good enough though? How's this? Uh oh. Uh, that's GG. That's GG. Wait, Neptune lived through that? My turn. What? How are you alive, Neptune? Spam the ultimate move. Come on now. It's just cheese, man. An ultimate move like that is just cheese. Oh, I can't reach her. I was hoping Nepgear got a turn first. But that didn't happen. I'll use an item. Leave this to me. We'll see if she gets to come back this time. Thank you. Let's end this. Oh, it's just endless like death, man. I might as well just uh do it myself. Ah, oh, shit. Rip. Attack. You should rob. Uh, my wounds. I'll use an item. Let's end this. Cross combination. What a shocker. Do that move again. Who's my opponent? Hmm. This one. Leave this to me. I'll attack head on. Ouch! My 
my turn. Attack head on. Oh, they're all. Uh, I was thinking that they're all gonna miss. I'm about to be like, uh-oh. Neptune had to take care of it all by herself. That was a clumsy fight. I still all that. Those are items trying trying to bring my friends back. I'll just nep gear. Didn't even get to bring nep gear back before I could bring anyone else back. Neptune had to take care of it all by herself. I can't believe this. I'm for that lily wreck to go up, huh? Yes, we've defeated that monstrosity. We did it! We did it! We won against that giant! Thank you! Thank you so much, Neptian Gearsy! There's no need to thank us. It's not over yet. Huh? Our four's still here, right? That's right! That old lady appeared so fast, I completely forgot! <sighs> to think that the dark CPU could possibly lose to idiots like you! Now then, whatever shall we do? Perhaps we should place the old lady in captivity and interrogate her. You want to capture me? Ha! <laughs> what could you possibly do to me in your current state? people than you how aggravating I will have to withdraw for the time being you're running away enjoy what little time you have left until the next time we cross paths <laughs> <laughs> running away like a little bitch like she always does <clears throat> Remember you used blonde a lot? Yeah, for oh. Also got defensive cheer with Nepgear. She got away. It would appear so, but honestly, we were not ready to take her on. I'm so worn out. My legs feel like noodles. Mine too. I'd be pretty happy if I didn't have to fight again for a while. Ooh, same here. Still, it's kind of a shame. A shame? You mean that R4 just escaped? Nope. I just thought that it'd be great to drink some cold juice since we're so worn out, but we don't have any, so yeah, it's a total shame. Then once we get back to base, we can have a toast together. Although, I think I just need to sit here for a little while. I can barely move. All right! Yep! Yeah. She's all pumped because she finally beat that tough boss, man. Are you okay, Uzume? Why are you screaming? At last! I finally put that giant six feet under! How can I contain that excitement? Uzume, although I truly understand your sentiments, I would appreciate if you'd refrain from yelling right into my ear. Oh, he has ears even though he's a fish. I wonder where he's hiding them. You gotta look for little ear holes. And it's all because you two stayed here by my side, fighting the good fight. I want to thank you formally, so thank you. Man, all I keep doing is giving thanks. Whew, I can't really walk anymore either. Hell, I can't even stand. <laughs> You've worked so very hard. By all means, rest. You've earned it. Whoa! I mean, we're not looking too good. Oh, 
We're looking kind of toaster. Might get in a fight before we uh, get back to. If not, we'll just buy some more items. I knew it. You've got some guts to fight me. What should I do? Yes, it's my turn. Oh, he died. I'll end this all. This what should I do? Time. Next. We won. Let's try going here. Made up. Nothing a little spit couldn't fix. A little what? Excuse me, young lady? Did we talk that way around here? Apparently we do. We have saved! We're all good! Ooh, and that bit. I mean, it's um, uh, time for sleep. Oh, it's time for some ZZZs. It's been almost six hours of playing. Gotta go to sleep. Gotta go to sleep. Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Oh, V2. Okay, okay, okay. There's enough video games for today. There's enough video games for today. Wait for next step. I'll be next Tuesday. It's the new Tuesday game. I'll be super exciting. It's super cool. I'll be very pro for a while. There was another hip hopping and bopping, popping stream. It was very cool. Very exciting. It's interesting, like, seeing the differences between the last game and this one. There's quite a bit that's different, and some stuff that's the same. Woo! And all right, we're dancing. All right, thanks for hanging out tonight, Cat. Thanks for hanging out tonight, King, Alt, Gito, Muse, Ivor, Guru, Bots Lurkers, everybody! Who stopped by tonight? You all take care of yourselves, okay? Thanks for the stream. Thanks for watching! I'll be back before you know it. Whoosh! Good night, everybody! Take care of yourselves! Ah!